Ooh, man oh my, man oh my. Well, here we go. Is, are we gonna are we gonna get going? Huh? There we go. That's what I needed to see. How's it going, everybody? This is uh this is gonna be fun, I think anyway. We're we're starting off. Starting off random live stream, as you all know. Uh, on a Thursday. We kind of had to postpone Wednesday, and I knew we were going to have to do it at some point. And I knew I was going to want to play, like, immediately when I had a point, you know, I had a chance to. So, uh, here we go. Let's see if we can get to the blind in time before these gray Goose get over here. Goodness. Oh, and we got some Tufted coming in, right, too. Oh, we scared him. Scared him. This map, the Waterfowl, is ridiculous. Um, I'm having so much fun with the Waterfowl. Uh, there are just so many waterfowl. <laughs> it's endless. It's endless. And I can just imagine everyone out here with all of their friends and stuff. Um, it's just gonna be a blast. Could you imagine you and a couple of buddies, like, set up around here, and, uh, and the next thing you know, you have a, a giant flock of geese coming in. These are, okay, so first off, I set this spot up over here to test it out. But before I did that, I set up another goose spot. Um, in another location, and that's what these geese are actually flying towards is another goose spot over there, so If anything we might just uh, Might just leave this spot and go to the other goose spot, but hey who's all in the chat? That's why I want to find out we've got let's see we'll start at the top Zach the rocker Dave and States digital Dane Shannon Torres Colton Carroll anglers guide uh, idiots animated Talon Palmer uh, Brian Cummings Indo gamer nomad junior BMXer uh, Alex Jones, my goodness. Uh, Brooke Easter, Bobby Worse, Duck, Skoptic. Skoptic. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, okay. 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 So, uh, these tufted ducks. Unfortunately, there's, like, not really a call for them, as far as I'm aware. I just kind of do the duck call at them, because I really don't know what else to do. We'll see if they, uh, they get down closer. Sometimes the tufted duck like to land uh, over there, which is always kind of interesting, on the opposite side. But we will just have to see what we can get here. Waiting for them to land. Okay, they are going to land on the opposite side, unfortunately. These dudes over here. I got decoys for tufted ducks, but that does not mean they uh, will land where I want them to. Oh, these guys are coming in. I think we might just take these guys. A little far off. Sometimes, uh... A little bit of a mess up there. These guys look like they're coming in, though. That's another good thing, is when you're out on the water, everything just floats towards you. And you really don't have to do anything at all. You gonna kill him? Yeah, we're gonna kill him. Your boy Muskrat Gamer's here. What's going on, man? It's been a long time, it feels. I think this is a Canada Goose Collar. Switch to the Grayla Goose Collar. Oh, fam for life. Thank you, thank you. Sorry you missed yesterday's stream. Well, we didn't have a stream yesterday. Pay attention to your social medias. I said it on YouTube and on Discord. Two different spots. Did you know also the waterfowl uh, spin the clouds? It's amazing. It's like a magic trick. Um, so, uh, yeah, they spin the clouds while they're up there, which is pretty amazing. I think, anyway. Did the red dot for the 470 change, or is it a handgun red dot? Uh, I'm not really sure, honestly. I keep hearing about it, but not using red dot at all. Um, I haven't really seen anything, um, but... The moment I understand what they're talking about, I will give you that information. <laughs> oh boy, okay, we got more tufted duck coming in, looks like anyway. I'm still waiting for these dang geese to land. I will say, I love how much waterfowl there is now, but the one thing I do not like is that they take forever to land. They are 100 yards, 50, at least 60 yards up in the air. And it's like they take forever to land. This one's just landed on the opposite side of the grass, which isn't great for us. 
Whoa. Well, there, okay, he's right there. Okay. Can't tell. And they're very quick to fly off when they uh, get spooked, too, so... Anywho, that was a little bit of duck duck hunting there. I got a goose spot that I want to try out. We might as well go over there, too. A female uh, tufted duck there. I continue to shoot female tufted ducks. I'm not sure. I'm just not lucky, I guess. Seems like I'm always getting females. Yet to get a male for some reason. I've shot a bunch of females. You love the 470 side on the 20 gauge side by side. Ooh, really? See, I just haven't even tried it, so maybe I need to uh, give it a go. Need to give it a go, man. Let's uh, let's go try this goose spot over here. You should hunt with the 410 revolver. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ducknado. That that's a good that's a good term for it. Yeah, basically. Let's see where all these geese are. Right here. Oh, they're over there. You really have to lead the geese now. It's uh, it's crazy how much you kind of have to lead them. Um, there are times where you're pretty much aiming like six to eight feet out in front of them to uh, hit them. Well, let's go ahead and grab this goose and then we'll go lay in this blind for a little bit. Today, during the live stream, I do want to do a few things. Got this grail of goose here. Good deal. Um, and the few things I want to do is set up two other goose hunting locations. And, uh, and we'll hunt, uh, the surrounding area to get to those locations, too. But, for now, let's just sit here for a little bit and wait for the next flock of geese to come in. Um, the geese, as far as I'm aware, like to land into the wind... So you really have to pay attention to where the wind is going and uh, and kind of, you know, uh, that kind of determines where or how the geese are going to land and some of the other birds as well. But the Fort Center of bird shot my cousins, it was funny. Huh. Interesting. Wasn't expecting a stream. I, well, I tell you what, surprise. That's what, uh, that's why I put it in there. I would almost say for certain that retrievers are going to be the next dog with how much if uh, if not a pain, it will not be to get all the water found, what not. Yeah, I mean, that is the thing, right? I mean, they uh, they come towards you uh, while you're sitting there, which is kind of nice. Got some Canadas. Canadians. Got a bunch of beagles. Woodworking beagles coming towards us. Darn Canadians. So they're way up in the air. Oh, we've got some geese over there, too. Oh, wow. we got three flocks of geese coming in. There is no shortage of waterfowl. I know you've probably heard me uh, say it a few times now. But uh, there's not going to be a point where you're just like, Oh, I wonder when, uh, wonder when the next flock's going to come in. If you're in a good area like these, uh, these two spots we were just in, nearly every, like, one to two minutes, you're going to have a new, a new flock coming in. Um, and you're just going to have a... Uh, yeah, a geese nato above you the entire time, as uh, David Provis called it. You've, uh, I would almost say for certain, uh, yeah, we said, I've still evaded the wild bow in his natural habitat. I have gone unnoticed like a ninja. I I've been reading your stuff, haven't I? <laughs> Good luck, BZ. Are you going to play the beta for Call of the Wild, the angler? No way, bro. I hate fishing games. No, of course I am. If they give it to me, man. You better believe I'm going to play that. Um, I will also say that the geese take off super fast, too. I've also got a second shotgun, too. Not gonna get that one. But, uh, it's, uh, it's very, it's very much... A lot more difficult than it was to uh, knock down three geese and then get another three. Back in the day, I humble brag. I mean, we, uh, I mean, we can knock nine geese out of the sky with just one flock. One flock could come in, and as long as there was nine geese there, we could shoot three, 
reload or switch to another gun, shoot another three, and sometimes get another three. Um, not the case anymore. I mean, you get, you, you're lucky to get all three, and if you're really good shot, and or maybe if you're using a 22, some illegal birding in my opinion, um, you know, you might be able to knock some more out of this guy. But, uh, yeah. I have been spotted. Ace A. Any teal? No teal so far, though I will say. I know where some teal are. I know where the teal are. So I am prepared. Prepared for the teal. We just need to go there and set up a, uh, a blind. And to do that, I need to get some more money to buy some decoys and stuff. So uh, it's a good thing we're hunting, uh, hunting the waterfowl. Our money and spend after San Joaquin Surgeon. You betcha! The Congo! That's a great place to uh, get money and everything. But other than that, I'd say uh, I'd say the Surgeon. As David Probus says, uh, if you don't enjoy the Sturgeon grind, then you might as well just stop playing. <laughs> Essentially. Have you killed any diamonds on the new map so far? No, I haven't. Boy, I've shot a, I've shot a bunch of stuff, but I haven't found any diamonds. Well, we've gotten all sorts of waterfowl around us, though. I will say, I'm not really trying hard, though. I know there's some sweaty people in the Call of the Wild community that, like, are, like, constantly on the lookout or something like that, or, like, I don't know, shunning their family to look for diamonds and stuff like that, but no. I, uh, I, I have not found any diamonds so far. I have not spent a lot of time looking for diamonds, um, but that's, that is all right. We got three geese down in front of us. Got a bunch of other geese though, so up oh, there comes another three. This time, I'm gonna try to shoot three, get another three with the other shotgun. We will see if that's possible. We got a bunch of other geese though. Okay. Now we got seven down on the ground. I wish they would uh, land closer. I don't know what I'm doing with my setup, that they're not landing closer. Oh, okay, they're already taken off, that's cool. Nope, get a shotgun out, bro. And before you know it, they're scared and they're running anyway, so it's like... Ugh, a little frustrating, but I will say, I'm still having fun despite despite my little uh, frustrations here and there. I've said A about once in the past five years. <laughs> I say A all the time, man. 7.4, around hybrid. They take off similar to those ambient birds on Hirschfeld. And yeah, it's true. Very quickly, and they just kind of scatter. They're gonzo. Alright, I got a few more over here. Getting uh, 596 cash there for Goose. It's not bad. It's 697 there. Sup, Dalton M says. I'm not your average Canadian. I guess not, no. You're a woodworking beagle. I mean, how many beagles do you know that do uh, woodworking? Huh? So we need to have... Let's see here. Need to have... Uh, enough room to put a, a tent in for one before we uh, start our uh, quest to find a new area to uh, put some waterfowling stuff in. Um, so that's something we can do. Another thing we can do... Okay, all right, gonna squish me in there. What is going on? The Grayly Goose coming in. Where is our... Uh, I turned the icons off, so I'm kind of forgetting where things are. Um, here we go. Let's get rid of our second... Actually, I'm gonna keep that one, because I, I want to change up my shotguns I've been using. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see if we can squeeze that tent in here now. Oh, we don't have a tent now. Frick a frack. Okay. Well, shoot. What do I want to do? We want to keep hunting? That's the question. Tough to duck way out there. The goose over here. We might just start walking. I don't know. Maybe we can find a uh, round hybrid again. Maybe we can find another uh, 
surely there's an outpost over here somewhere. But we're gonna we're gonna walk over here, then make our way down to here, and I believe there's a boat that can take you from here to here. There might also be a boat here though. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Which way should we go? I'm not sure. I guess it'd be shorter to go that way. So let's try that. Let's try that. Leaf Deaver says, "How, uh, up, Bo? How's it going? It's going well. We're or just we're just starting to get people in. Everyone's still surprised. Everyone's still surprised by us. Oh, come on, dude. Where's our freaking shotgun? Look at them scatter. They're like a bunch of bugs. A bunch of bugs in the sky." All right, let's go grab this duck that we nailed. Absolutely nailed. When is the release day for console? June 28th. Coming here in five days, so everyone better get excited. I wonder sometimes if anyone even watches my videos. What's the point? <laughs> Love the vids. Keep up the good work. Uh, Angler's Guide. Thank you. Thank you. Black Brown. Male Mallard there. Good deal. Nailed him. He was trying to escape. We said no, sir. If you're playing Fortnite right now, Bryce Daniels. Whoa. Fortnite? Fort fork knife? That's crazy. Tuesday. 27th, you think? 28th. 28th, bro. Got some more geesers. Geesers. I swear, uh, when I when I sit in this uh this blind right here and wait for the geese to come in they always land on the opposite side of this grass where I can't see them anywhere so it's just like just frustrating up the duck we're not gonna be able to get over here in time I swear yeah they're already flying away what do you got here mallards I got distracted. There's just so many darn birds everywhere, man. You got one up in the sky right now. Where do I access the surveys? What surveys are you talking about, Alex? I've seen about three quarters of your vids. <laughs> of all the vids in general. Oh my god, look at all of them. Where the frick did you guys come from? Can't tell if they're trying to land or what they're doing. I think they're trying to land. What do you think? Whoa. We've got a swarm! They're swarming us. So these are all my tufted duck decoys here. As you can see. Alright. Getting close. You know what I mean? They never choose a good spot to land. I swear to God. It's like, why would you choose there? Of all places. I just took some shots there. I knew if we uh, we ran over here, they would take off lickety split, and we'd never see him. Now you know that someone watches your vids. Oh, thanks. That makes me feel good. We got one. We got two. Get over here, duck. We got a mail. Let's go. Nine fifty-one. Actually, pretty darn close to a diamond. All right. I know we're saving up money for a uh, tent and all that, but that is a beautiful duck. And it's got to go in the lodge since it's my first male tufted duck. I've probably shot eight female tufted ducks. That's my first male. <laughs> Goodness gracious. You're playing Fortnite too? That's crazy. You guys are crazy. Your, your Fortnite stuff. Oh, we got three! Wow! Because we're amazing at this game. Bunch of, bunch of marksmen out here. Any unicorn ducks? No unicorn ducks yet, Cole Starkey. 
How do you woodwork with without poseable thumbs? Just they're like little nubs. They just hold things, sort of. All oh, the wild surveys. Well, sometimes they send them in, uh, like they they show they like show them on their uh, social media, and then all you've got to do is click on it and uh, fill out the information. So I I, I guess if you want to take part in surveys in the future, follow them on social media. If it's a good survey, usually I make a video about it, and then you have time to uh, go find the survey and fill it out. Uh, two is another way to find out about it. So, um, just depends on what they put in the survey, I guess. What do you think about this music? Is it too loud? You guys let me know. They, they are fast. Yeah, they're very fast. Beagle is strong in the force. He's strong in the force. Yeah, that's right. What is this about? see some things and we wonder, like, are they part of a mission? I think this is a, uh, this is like a modern lookout tower. What do you think? This is like the Ikea. Ikea lookout tower. Everyone's going, Ikea is Swedish, not Finnish. Stupid. But hey. You know what is Finnish, though? I'm pretty sure. Rapala. I think Rapala lures are from Finland. I believe. I don't know. Someone look at that up. Make sure. Pretty sure they're from Finland. Nice little bench here. Let's grab this lookout tower real quick. Yeah, boys. This tower, even though it's Finnish, was actually an IKEA item in their store. Um. They had to put it up on top of the roof to uh, display it, but uh, these Finnish people actually bought it, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. They assembled it all with the uh, instructions that are difficult to follow, so uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty sweet thing. Gotta go see y'all later. Hey, take care, Beagle. Looks like a fire training tower. Oh, a fire training tower. Now that's a that's a good point. All right, let's go find this, find this uh, freaking boat to take, man. I see the boat. See it right there. Hopefully, I've never taken the boat yet, so uh, this should. I'm hoping. I'm hopeful this just works without a hitch. When are you doing your next fishing plant stream? Just joined. Sorry, you went over this already. No, I, I didn't. Whoa, we got fell in the water there. Hey, we just took a boat, bro. That was cool. All right, we are on an island now. How about that? Uh, next call, uh, fishing plant stream should be uh, Wednesday, I think. Usually is when it is. Probably. We'll probably play uh, some more Raven Tuli Coast on Monday. And then uh, do fishing plant on Wednesday like usual. It's the plan, anyway. After watching your chill camera video, I think it's definitely a possibility considering it's a satellite cam, which could definitely send accessible photos to the hundred mate. Exactly. I'm just... Here, listen. I realize it's been used in missions before. And yeah, it could be thrown as decoration into uh, a, a log cabin or something like that. But the fact is, it didn't show up until you, like, t took the outpost. And then it's like literally laying there with all of the ammo boxes and stuff that have all the ammos that we can use. The ammo itself was an easter egg at one time. Uh, you'd find the ammo boxes laying around and they were uh, they were easter eggs. So I I don't know guys. I, I think, I truly think it's, it's maybe a sign of something. And I was actually talking to my brother earlier and I was like, well what would they do? to sell it as a DLC, you know, for like 2 dollars or whatever it is. And I was talking with him and I thought, people also wanted bait barrels, right? They wanted to have bait barrels they could set up to like create need zones. And I thought, well, what if, you know, they had like a bait barrel, uh, a feeder like for deer and, uh, you know, other ungulates and then, um, and then, uh, and then, uh, you know, a camera, a trail camera, all in one DLC. You know, call it the feeder pack or something like that for two ninety nine. Create your own need zones, and then I was like, I, I could I could really see that being a DLC coming out. Um, so 
I guess we'll just find out, everyone. Uh, I might just be hopeful. Might never become a thing. Is this a lookout tower here? Nope, it's not. Okay. Thought it was. <laughs> oh, there's the outpost. Good deal. We'll go grab that outpost. Because this, uh, this area... Don't want to walk over the uh, artwork here. This area is supposed to be really good for Eurasian teal, evidently. I'm not exactly sure where we'd set up an outpost, because I still haven't even seen a flock go over. But, uh... Eventually, as we get enough money to, uh... Put up another duck blind and some decoys and stuff like that. We'll uh, we'll come over here and, and lay out some stuff. So after a while, probably money. I finally found a level five moose and it was a troll, but I did get a melanistic caribou. Very nice, cool man. Great video on trail cams, by the way. Thank you, Henry. Appreciate it. How's your night going? Pretty intentional. I think so too. I think so too. All right. You think anything else besides the ducks and geese and stuff come to this island? I think they have like a just a, like a pack of raccoon dogs that just kind of run around here. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Or a bear. A bear could swim across the water. Or really a moose or anything that wanted to come over here. How we ended up with the weapon pack too. So considering the previous Easter eggs like the bug light and the tripod stand baiting is legal some states so so oh my god canoes oh bird feeders easter eggs easter eggs we got bird watching coming to the hunter call of the wild everyone this is crazy oh okay there's the ducks there's the ducks how about you get your freaking binoculars out so we can see what they are you're asian teal <gasps> we knew it we knew it didn't we oh boy here we go now we just need to find out a good spot to put a, uh, a blind, man. Let's go grab a... Uh, I'm not even sure if I have any Eurasian teal decoys. Let's go see. Whoa! A white-tailed deer there. And a bear. Black bears. That's kind of interesting. Seems like, anyway. And a bunch of caribou antlers, even though there's no caribou here. I mean, technically, I don't know what that is, and that doesn't seem like something that would be here either. What do we got up here? Any Easter eggs? Don't think so. Got a couple of guns sitting there, and a girl's face. Where's uh, where's our loadout, man? There it is. On the I mean, look at that. You can't get any more prominent than that. It's literally sitting there, like with everything else that we already have. So, I mean, like we don't carry our rifles and cases and stuff. But come on. It's pretty easy to see, I think, anyway. Let's throw in one of these uh, blinds here. We got Eurasian teal decoys. Do we have? Yeah, we do. Let's throw in some more Eurasian teal decoys. Uh, maybe some hens. Don't want it to be a, a sausage party down there. Uh, we'll throw in decoys. Let's see, Eurasian. Is there a Eurasian teal uh, collar? Bean goose call. Eurasian teal collar. Good deal. Okay, top notch. Let's go set up a new, uh, new dealy wiber, eh? Let's throw, uh, let's see here. Throw that in there. It's a movie quote, right? <laughs> Never heard anyone more ex excited over bird feeders. Oh, uh, you just never knew. You never knew how big of a birder I was, did you? No, I'm just messing around. Classic me. Classic me messing around. Oh, so there's tufted ducks over here too. Okay. I see you. The tufted ducks, Eurasian teal, getting an idea of the different uh, decoys we might need for this area over yonder. So, this, uh, marsh, let's, uh, do, I don't know, man, I'm trying to think of, like, a good spot for it, I'm getting kind of far away from the outpost at the moment.
Let's do this. Just set up right here, I think. If we can find a nice even spot for it. Goodness gracious. There we go. That ought to work. And then we'll throw out some decoys here. The only thing I, I know um, that was kind of important that I found while I was in the uh, layout line for the water was that you want to make sure that your decoys around your layout line in the water uh, are so far away from you that they don't uh, pop up to dismantle them while you're laying in the blind. That's like my biggest tip I can give you. Oh god, we got too deep, evidently. <laughs> My biggest tip I can give you for uh, the layout blinds in the water. Otherwise, I really enjoy the layout blinds in the water. I think they're really cool. All right, get some, getting some males out here. Some males, bro. Okay. Should have got some tough to duck decoys, man. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, Eurasian teal. The last time I went duck hunting, a buddy of mine got a Eurasian teal. Oh, it wasn't a Eurasian teal. It was a green wing teal, which is pretty, like, the same thing, nearly. Um, so, pretty cool. I mean, these ones fly away. Those almost, like, look like goose. Almost look like goosers. All right, what do we got here? That's a mallard. Well, what's the deal here? Now I'm starting to think we, uh, we're not prepared over here. We need a lot more than what we have, evidently. Mallards. Don't have any mallard decoys. Well, that's a fun one. Ooh, what do we got here? Mallards. Come land with the teal, Mallards. Oh, I think we got some teal coming in. going to make a fishing planet video soon oh hang on to your shoe uh s s straps i'm not really sure where i was going with that uh yeah one coming out tomorrow everyone looking forward to it whoa okay you guys are about to take off Those uh, videos watching uh, the European style of uh, shooting pheasants came into play there. That shot. <laughs> I think they're too far. Should probably not shoot since we have other flocks coming over us. Yeah, there's our first heal, man. Fishing plan will sometimes be known for the high prices for rods and guns. See, uh, I don't know. I Maybe for like, for like, I can understand if you're a kid or something like that. Even though I mowed a lot of yards when I was younger. So, uh, I mean, a $7 reserve probably wouldn't set me back that much because I was always mowing yards every week. But, uh, as an adult, seven, eight bucks for a reserve isn't, isn't going to break the bank. So, I'm, I'm okay. Plus, I mean, rods, you're talking rods and guns. I mean, that's three dollars then. That's even more affordable. Here we go. We got more. I was curious where they were going to come in from. So you can see we got the wind coming off uh, to this, well, coming from the northeast, I guess. 
And so uh, they are going to land into the wind, and that's why we saw them landing right here. Which I did not mind, honestly. I like them getting close. Oh, what's your favorite gun? Ooh, 470. 470 Nitro, of course. Just like the African hunters of old, man. Love those uh, double barrel rifles. Is there a release date for Call of the Wild Angler? Uh, not, not that I'm aware of at the moment, no. Uh, it's mid-June, and I was basing this off of the announcement of the, uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild. Took them three months to put it out, so I would think, you know, July, August, September. I would think either September, October. Man, they are landing on top of us. Where'd they go? Wow, really? Nothing else got close. That dude was about to scare everything away, so I'm justifying what I just did. <laughs> he was so close. Dark green! Very pretty duck, though. Goodness gracious. I wish we could zoom in on these guys. My The fishing planet uh, player angler uh, inside of me just wants to zoom in on these guys to get a better look. Another female here. Tell me we have another male. I want a bigger male, man. Nope, another female. Man, these ducks just look amazing. They look so real. Pretty sweet, I think, anyway. Lining those shots up. Actual in-game good rods. You think the uh, you think the rods are gonna be like seventy-five thousand dollars or something like that? Is that what you're saying? Play Fishing Planet. Bro, you know I will. Just because you said so. I tell you what. Make you a deal. I will play it next Wednesday, alright? You have my word. That, unless something comes up, I guess. <laughs> Otherwise, you have my word. Alright, got more teal coming in. You know, I'm honestly shocked. Does that ever work? Do you ever show up to live streams and just demand that the person play a different game? And they just go, oh, okay, and they just switch games? I'm just curious. I don't go to a lot of live streams, so maybe that's a fairly like common practice, I guess. They're all landing over there now. I don't like that. Well, that is a much less ideal spot for them to land. Why are you landing over there, you crazies? Oh, we got another flock. Female. There's just so many ducks. It's hard to, like, stop and go do things just because they just keep coming. All right, here we go. Here's another male. Yeah, at least we got a gold this time. All right, throwing him in the lodge. I'm trying to get one of everything. <laughs> So far, I've gotten quite a few grouse, quite a few ptarmigan, uh, the capercali, uh, most of the ducks, mallard, uh, tufted, Eurasian teal, um, just need the golden eye and the widgeon at the moment. Pretty sure. Are we good here? Should we move on to another spot? What are we thinking? I'm thinking so. We gotta move over into this area, I think. There's gotta be widgeons and golden eyes over here, at least. One or the other. 
Oh wow, what do we got here? Something. Something that doesn't want to play ball. So I heard TK saying always something like hypersonic or something like that. Oh, those ducks are hypersonic or so something like that. Um, and I think what, by that it means that like the ducks that uh, or geese, I guess, that like you don't have any decoy setups for or uh, calls for. They just stay up in the air above where you can even like shoot them. And, uh, and I guess that's hypersonic. I have no idea. We have a ton of geese out here. Or, uh, ducks. Mallards. Okay, well, definitely have to remember to set up mallard decoys over here as well, because there's lots of mallards. Alright, we're moving, we're moving on. 30,000 for your next rod. Psh, pish posh, man. That's like, uh, that's like 10 good pike. Go to St. Croix and fish for some good pike. Do you think this game is okay for 12 year olds? Absolutely. Yeah, and you think about when people get introduced to hunting. Yeah, I, you know, I was probably, I don't even know, probably eight years old or younger when I started walking with my dad and my grandfather's out like walking for pheasants and quail and stuff like that. So I mean, a game of this, I, I think so, definitely. Let's go, um, I'm thinking what we should do is probably... We don't have enough for mallard decoys is the problem. Let's just walk to the end of the trail and uh, get take the boat. And we'll uh, we'll hunt for some like willow tarm again and stuff on our way over to another uh, another duck hunting spot. I'm, th I'm thinking anyway. I'm so sorry I've missed the stream I've been waiting for with how much I talk about duck hunting. <laughs> Well, here we are, man. We've been shooting ducks all uh, all stream so far, man. And seeing all, all sorts of ducks. We've got one. Ooh, ooh, what the heck, bro? Get out a shotgun. I don't know if we're going to be able to hit them. They're kind of far out now. They were all just sitting over here on this lake. I have to say they have amazing hearing to hear me, like, running up and not seeing me. I'm a little, um, little frustrated with how aware all the, uh, grouse and stuff are, uh, at Re Reventuli. I think they, uh, they see you and or, and or smell you from a long ways away. And I, I think that's a little, a little too much, um, for birds anyway. It's hard to get in range. Uh, of them. I mean, literally, like, crouching, walking towards them in the forest where there's, like, no cover. Um, and they see you from, like, a hundred and some odd yards away and, and, you know, fly away before you can even get close to them. Kind of frustrating. Um, but, you know, that's okay. Just makes it more difficult, I guess. More of a challenge. There's the boat. Back to the mainland. How are you, Susan? I'm doing quite well. How are you, Susan? Out already? I have, haven't played in a bit. Uh, no. The map release is June 28th. If you want to learn more, check out our uh, our first hunt video where we went out and did our first hunt uh, at Reventuli. Alright. Top notch. So, let's make our way... Is this another boat here? I'm so confused. Well, hit, hit, hit a branch. Eurasian lynx here. 
brown bear and a Eurasian lynx. They're like on this peninsula. It's like nowhere for them to go. That would be interesting hunting. And a raccoon dog. Okay, I haven't shot a raccoon dog yet. That could be interesting. Okay, something is up. Let's change this. It's driving me nuts. We'll have to keep our eyes out for a raccoon dog. What do we got here? Gray leg goose. Okay. Any raccoon dogs out in the distance? Not that I can see. That sound, like, reminds me of a loon or something like that. But I kind of wonder if it's a willow ptarmigan. All I know is that I noticed a willow ptarmigan out here. And ever since then, I've been hearing that sound. But it might be uh, a loon yeah, a sound effect or something like that. Went fishing for the first time when I was four. My uncle helped me reel in a five-pound bass. Wow, very nice. You still hunt in real life? Oh, uh, we went hunting, or I went hunting this past spring turkey season. I I did not see a single turkey. I heard them, um, and before I knew it, I ran out of time and I had to leave. But I had a good time. Had a good time. Oh, you bastard. He nails running out of breath, driving me crazy. Literally about, I was watching the sway of the rifle, the, uh, the scope crosshairs or whatever, and right when I was going to pull the trigger, he ran out of breath and... Mm. Classic he nail. Okay. Well, we saw a raccoon dog anyway. I'll have to catch up to it again. What species have you killed so far and what's your biggest duck? Uh, got a lot of golds, a lot, a lot of golds close to diamond, but uh, we've got tufted uh, Eurasian teal uh, and mallard so far. I'm still looking for the golden eye, which I believe are just further uh, west, and uh, and then we need to find the, uh, the widgeons. Widgeons have to be somewhere. I mean, they, I mean, they li they literally have to be somewhere. I mean, they wouldn't include them on the map and then not have them somewhere. What we got here? Grey Goose again. St. Croix is your goal. That's a good one. Any tips for starting this game? I just got it. Honestly, uh, I have a really good beginner guide if you kind of want to learn the ins and outs of all the doohickeys and all that. But uh, otherwise, just, you know, complete the missions if you want to. Another good way to go about it is just kind of walking around and, and shooting everything you see. But uh, make sure to use... Uh, only shoot the things that are appropriate for your weapon. And uh, you can get a good size, uh, a good uh, reference for, uh, you know, what you can shoot. Hey, come on, man. Can I not show it anymore? Maybe I have to go to ammo here. So uh, if you go over your ammo, you can see your uh, your animal classes you can shoot. Uh, this is four, five, six, seven, and 8, I believe. So uh, you can see that. And then if you want to, you can go into your codex, um, go to wildlife, and then by clicking on the animals, they'll tell you uh, class 4 ammo. Um, and that's a good way to go about it as you're learning. After a while, you'll start to understand different sized animals. Um, you know, our class of uh, class of weapon. You'll, you'll, you'll figure it out. Um, and as you go about it, you'll, you'll start to... Uh, you'll start just creating a loadout where you can handle the majority of the animals on the map. Like, uh, for instance, right now I'm carrying... Um, a shotgun, a uh, 223, and a 308, and that pretty much handles pretty much anything we'll find on the map, um, even if the shotgun is a frustrating choice at times, as it means I have to get a little bit closer to uh, the hair and the, uh, r the stuff like that. That's going to be my first Eurasian Lynx out here. We were just at Medved, so we were seeing links all over the place. The links don't really, like, grab my attention. I'm um, kind of sick of the links. But they're rather slow creatures in the game. <laughs> realize it's kind of weird, but uh, they are. I keep thinking I'm seeing birds on the ground. And, uh... I, like, prepare to shoot something that never uh, flies up. 
Okay, which way? Oh, okay, good deal. I was gonna say, which way did it go? How much is this game? So it changes, um, changes throughout the year. Pretty, pretty. Good looking, good looking animal there. Aw, oh, so close to the lungs. Penetration really just got us there, didn't it? Let's keep heading west. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, but, I'm honestly not sure how much this game is. I know that the base game of just like Leighton Lake and Hirschfeld, um, you can get below $10. I mean, even like 6 or $7 sometimes. Um, but with all the DLC and stuff that's come out with it, it's, it's difficult to say how much exactly it is. Um, just, you'll have to pay attention to sales and whatnot. Which, I think when they put out a new reserve, they, they usually do a sale. I want to say so it might be a good time to uh, look into getting the game 61 likes now 61 likes or 61 views I, I on my screen I see 61 views but only 46 likes so if we have 61 likes then that's awesome raccoon dog Susan hi you already said hi Susan Oh, there's a bear or a moose. It's a moose. What's up, Bo? Mr. Mammoth, how's it going, Mr. Mammoth? How are you? Whoa. Freaking ducks way up here. Okay, so this has got to be something interesting. They're making a different sound. we found a new duck. Good deal. Might have to uh, set up over here or something like that. We'll get this lookout tower. There's got to be an outpost nearby, hopefully at the end of that little trail there. And, uh, and then we'll set up a duck blind nearby too. That'd be a good spot, I think, anyway. Blake, 2009! How are ya? It's different reserves when packs such a uh, PlayStation store. Willow Tharmigan. There you are. I see you, Willow Tarmigan. Thought I heard something. Dane Rios, how's it going? It's going quite well. How are you? We're uh, we're we're extending our uh, our waterfowl hunting grounds. We have uh, we have good uh, we have good ground for uh, mallards, uh, tufted duck, Eurasian teal now, um, as well as gray goose and uh, Canada goose. So now we're uh, just trying to find good ground for uh, golden eye and, and Eurasian widgeon. This is a fun little little valley here. I wonder if we could like set up a duck blind on top of that hill, set ducks down here. <laughs> that would be interesting. Goodbye. There's Widgeon in this map. Yes, there is Mason. Totally the same price PS4 is $30. Oh, very cool. Now here's like an opening. It might be nice to set up, uh, set up a spot for uh, duck setup, you know? Hoping that there's an outpost right here, and then we can set up some some duck stuff down here or something like that. I think would be a good spot. I don't know. We'll have to pay attention to where the uh, where the ducks are flying over. I guess another big deal. Give us an idea of uh, a good spot to set up. Have you ever played COD? Is that a is that a fishing game like uh the cod? What is that like Bering Sea or something? Okay, here we go. Gray Lagoose over here. 
Uh, no. I mean, I, I, I played COD when it first came out. Like, the first game on the original Xbox. So... But yes. Definitely played my fair share of COD. I don't know how many different COD games I've played, but quite a few. The angler will be as 30% better than the hunter. My goodness gracious. Can we handle that? Can we handle that amazing graphics? Are we going to, like, lose ourselves? And, like, can't tell the difference between our, our real reality and the game? I'll be, like, eating digital stuff in the game while starving in real life. Probably wouldn't be too bad. Probably lose weight might not be too too bad of a deal you play rainbow six siege no that now that's a game i've never gotten into it never piqued my interest i remember hearing about it and i was just like eh not my thing but uh definitely played a lot of call of duty over the years that game is gonna be beautiful i agree Court knee with an actual body knee. Oh wow, the outpost is way over there. Okay. Oh, there's one right here too. Okay. Well, maybe uh, maybe the spot to set up is over here or something. I don't know. We'll just have to go find out, I guess. Now, what's this about? What animal is this? Raccoon dog. Okay, we gotta get one of these raccoon dogs. Where are you, raccoon dog? I'm yet to get one of these dang dogs. He's flying over us or something. Any idea when the angler's coming out? I, I got my money on uh, September, October. But I don't know the exact date, no. the ability to have four people on the boat feature i've wanted in fishing play for a long time yeah so i didn't hear that exactly so i if you heard that then that's good because uh i was making the assumption based on what they were kind of saying that that was going to be a possibility so i'm glad they said that i didn't watch the whole uh the whole uh video the live stream of them talking about it with the developer uh, i meant to go back and watch it and i just didn't so that's just on me, I guess. Okay, we found the raccoon dog tracks anyway. This why? Oh, 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 oh! Geese, we're looking for raccoon dogs. And a warning, there he is. Five medium. Do you think that's a diamond? Or do you think they're uh, like to nine? What do you think? What level do you think the uh, raccoon dogs go to? Got a good wind. I bet they go to nine, don't you think? Most predators like this go to nine. We can get a spot on. God dang it, he stopped right in that tree. Oh, there's two of them now. Oh, I thought he was dead. He just landed on the ground. I thought he just died there, but then he hopped back up and ran. Don't the raccoons do that on Mississippi Acres too? I think anyway. They like fall down to the point where you think they're dead, and then they hop back up and run. 
Oh, God. You should come fish up in North Dakota. It's great. Well, I'll tell you, um, insider information, uh, we're actually moving to Milwaukee in uh, January or February of next year. So I'll definitely be closer to North Dakota. Look at this guy, our first raccoon dog. Right on, right on, man. So it is go to nine. That's good. You think they go to nine, and I, I agree with you. I also think they go to nine. Good deal. I'm just gonna throw... Uh, uh, well, what do we got here? Don't need a piebald. Don't think we need a piebald. Let's get rid of the grizzly bear. Got a lot of albino stuff that's like not that impressive. Like albino dough. <laughs> it's just like why even keep it? Got a couple of bears over here. Haven't shot a bear yet, so figured we might as well try to take one down. Willow Tarmigan tracks. Do you like roller coaster? Roller co like the song or uh, roller coasters like the uh, the rides? What are we talking about? Whoa. Saw there was another moose that ran out. A couple of different moosers over here. Another moose there. Just didn't even hit that bear somehow, I guess. Interesting. We are definitely going the long way to this outpost. <laughs> any, my man, any diamonds yet? Jason, no diamonds yet. We are running around looking for duck spots at the moment. But uh, no diamonds yet. Need to uh, keep getting money though. We're gonna dispatch some stuff as we're running around. Where is your dog? So, I wasn't uh, sure if the dog was gonna scare away the ducks, so I finally just put him away. I, I, we, we were duck hunting, and honestly, I, was, I wasn't really using him for anything, so I was like, eh. Put old Bjorn 2 in the kennel. I'll go do some duck and goose hunting. And, uh, and this is really like the first time I've been running around since then, so... This is like the only time I probably could have taken him back out, but otherwise. Yeah, that's that's why I did that. <laughs> Go give him a hug! I know, we should have done that, right? 866 bucks, it's gonna help us buy some decoys. BZ, big fan, do you remember me from old streams? Wolfie, I remember everyone who ever shows up in a stream. Think they should add North American ducks to Mississippi now, bro. I uh, I said that when uh, yeah, I think I've told you that too. I said that the uh, the moment they talked about Reventuli, I said uh, I joked about. So when are we gonna get some like wood ducks and other American ducks added to Mississippi? And they just didn't even answer back. So it was probably because they literally just announced a map, and I'm already asking for something else. <laughs> Ducks.
All right, let's go grab this outpost down here. And then we'll uh, try to set up another duck area, another duck hunting area. What are some good baits for pike in real life? I'll tell you what, I've never fished for a pike. We don't have pike in Kansas, and I've never been to a lake that had pike. Um, I would think a live fish. Just throw out a live fish, buy goldfish from the grocery stores. Well, I guess they kind of frown upon you using goldfish these days. So maybe uh, try to try to go buy or uh, try to go catch some small fish, um, and then throw those on a hook, or you can. Um, or you can just throw out some lures, I guess. I don't know. I've, I've always heard that pike were kind of a nuisance fish, and that you, if you threw out lures trying to catch other stuff, you'd end up catching a pike accidentally. So, I don't know. You got options, I suppose. Sorry we were late for the party. Carlos. Ugh. I tell you what, I'm so disappointed. Where have you been? We have been worried sick about you. No. Glad you're here, Carlos. I swore I saw something running over there. Got more tracks. Oop, there's a moose. A moose or ten. Where are you going, moose? Geese are the fastest, easiest way to make some cash. Yeah, bro. You tell them. So you are a true legend. Hope you get a diamond soon. Oh, thank you. Uh, we have Carlos. I was terrified. I, uh, we were all terrified. Yes. Thank goodness he's back. Nickel Plate, how are you doing? Dot, 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 dot. You know, I, I'm starting to wonder if you actually even care if, uh, how I'm doing, huh? What if I was doing uh, badly, huh? Would you feel bad? Would you feel bad that you just asked so just... How are you doing? No, I'm doing just fine. Nickel Plate, how are you doing, huh? How are you, when I say how are you doing, I throw an exclamation point and a question mark on the end. Sort of that type of person. Up in your face! How are you doing? Tell me. I want to know. It's, it's just, that's just who I am. Have you killed a teal or a widgeon? I have gotten a teal. No widgeon yet. Still working on the widgeon. I think I've heard some widgeon, though, as we've been running. But we finally got to an outpost. Oh, okay. What the frickin'... Where's the flagpole? There we go. There it is. Got it. Got, oh, they got the trampoline! So we Trampolines confirmed. Got any trophies? Oh, we've gotten some decent ones. Real close to diamond in a lot of... in a lot of, uh... examples. We got a raccoon here. Chillaxing with a hat on and, uh, some tequila. Uh, let's see here. So we are wanting... Let's see, what do we have? We have golden eye decoys, which is great. Because we'll need those. But... Let's see, okay, so we have the waterfowl blind. We'll throw out the golden eye decoys. We want to buy some widgeon decoys. Is what I'm wondering. Um, and do we want to keep these collars? Is another thing. Here's a Eurasian Widgeon Collar. Um, there's not a Golden Eye Collar. And I don't believe that the Duck Collar does them either. So the Tufted, uh, the tufted Ducks and the... Um, and... And the Golden Eye just don't have a Collar. You just have to have them land in, I guess. That's kind of frustrating. So, okay, so let's buy some more... Let's buy some Widgeon decoys, I guess. Huh? We need some Widgeon decoys. Let's get some Drakes. I can only get one. <laughs> so we got some Drakes now. Good deal. 
All right, let's go set up another duck hunting spot. It's got to be close to this outpost, so I guess we'll uh, head down here, huh? Got to be close, so it's got to be down here at this lake. I'm thinking. And Tufton, and it was working. Was it? Or did he have decoys out? Huh? Do you know? Was it working? Or was it just the decoys bringing them in? I have noticed that decoys work really well. Honestly, you can sit there without even... Without even calling them in uh, and with decoys and, and you'll you'll get them in I'm trying to think of uh, whoa moosertons okay well let's see here well he ran away to the other side now Thinking maybe, might not be too bad of a spot, hopefully. Just setting up right here, huh? What do you think? It's kind of open. I think that, oh, there's some ducks right there. Look at them all. I'm thinking this is a good spot. Let's just throw one up here. We'll try it out anyway, eh? I just wish the ground was a little more level to place your, uh, place your blind. That'll work. Okay. So we got... Do, 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 do. Golden eye decoys. Just a few, anyway. Let's post them up kind of like... Like so, eh? Like so. That, and then we got Eurasian... Eurasian Widgeon decoys, which we'll throw up as well. Nice, uh... Just a couple of lads. Couple of lads hanging out, eh? Got some, some, uh, some lad, lad, uh, widgeons and some lad golden eyes just all hanging out, having a little bachelor party. I dig it. Since David Probus got mad at us saying the other thing. <laughs> so these, what do we got? Widgeons! <gasps> we got widgeons! We got widgeons! Okay, here we go. We just gotta be, I don't, but we do have a widgeon collar, okay? I don't know. I guess here we go. Whoa! That just sounds like a bird. Jump on the tram. Okay, I really did want to jump on the tram. I just got I got too excited. How the dogs been? The dogs have been great. Thanks for thanks for asking. Are the teal fast like real life? Uh, I I. I mean, as they take off, yes, they're very fast. Um, now, I've heard that teal like to go straight up, and I didn't notice that the last time I was hunting for teal, but um, they don't really do that. They just kind of coast out like all the other ducks. Um, oh, they're starting to land. Cool! Our first, uh, first widgeons, I believe. It's usually, uh, it, it's gotten increasingly harder to, uh, to get. There's a male! Top notch! First Eurasian widgeon. We already got more ducks coming in there. I think they were geese, actually. Line in a V there. Grayla Goose, okay. Still haven't found the Bean Goose. Bean Gooses. We have... I'm not sure if we're going to be able to call them in, but might as well try. Since we're out here. Smoke them, smoke them. Love your streams, keep up the good work. Hey, thank you, Savage One. Seek them outdoors, hello. How are ya? Have you got the water blind? I, I, so I have one water blind. I am a broke Hunter Call of the Wild player, though. <laughs> I would love to have more of them. I think that they're really nice because if you shoot the ducks and geese in the water, then they float over to you and you can just you can just pick them up from the blind. It's really, really slick. You can just sit there in the water, 
boom, 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 boom. Then they float to you, you pick them up, and then you just wait for more. So you don't ever have to like get out and go grab stuff. I think that that's like the biggest positive thing that uh, that, that one has for it, really. There is something hypersonic that is just not paying attention to us. I wonder what that is. That they're just... That we just don't have out here right now. The Grayly Goose. Did they break off? Are they coming to land here? Oh. A moose is very upset with me calling, calling the geese. He says, "I ah, you geese, shut up." Wait, that's a bison. Is I for a second there, I was thinking that uh, that one taxidermy was a, a moose and a goose. That sounds like a heck of a multi mount, though, don't you think? I mean, I would make the multi mount just off of the just off of the name, the moose and the goose. Sounds good to me, man. Oh, what do we got here? Got a bunch. Bunch of ducks. Can't tell what they are. Honestly, I think just having like one to five of every decoy at every spot you have isn't a bad idea. Just in case they do come over, you at least have a chance. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, they're coming to land now. so quick they're mallards okay I don't even have any mallard decoys yeah I have no idea where they are now they're even coming towards us but they really broke off when does the stream end I don't know <laughs> I was thinking maybe around 10, but uh, probably, uh, I don't know, whenever everyone else decides it's too late. Once everyone else starts leaving and I'm, they're like, all right, I gotta go to bed, maybe we'll end the stream. Insane Monkey Gaming. Hey man, just joined in, didn't know we had uh, any content coming. Is it out uh, for all yet or just exclusive? Uh, currently, exclusive, I suppose, it's uh, five, five days, I guess, June 28th is when the new map comes out. Wow, we zow it. Look at all those ducks. I'm telling you. That is an interesting call. T Widgeons? Mallards. What in the freaking world, dude? We need to get some mallard decoys out here, dude. We don't have a lot of money. Every time I get close to having enough money, I shoot something that I want to taxidermize. <laughs> oh, I'm ruining myself. Just caught a unicorn white crappie. Dude, very nice. Trying to go for bass though, okay. Be able to get large decoy spreads out. Being able to get mixed bags is awesome. I agree, Dakota Smith. Yeah, it's definitely awesome. E12 crazy, is Bigfoot in here? Nah, we killed Bigfoot. He's, he dead, bro. He dead. Do they have new multi-mounts out yet? I assume so. Uh, but I haven't, I haven't, uh, looked. So I feel like if we could get five Grey Goose decoys and a few Mallard decoys just to throw out here, I feel like we would get a more mixed bag. Let's go pick up these ducks, and I think I'm gonna run over to another one of my decoy spreads and just grab a few things. <laughs> grab a few mallard decoys and grab a few uh, gray goose decoys. Just throw them out here, that way we can uh, get some other stuff over here. So we'll go over here first. So let's see. Yeah, let's go here first. We'll grab some uh, mallard decoys from over here. Need to catch up on my hunting again. Yeah, man. All night if I have to. What is the longest you played Hunter Call of the Wild? Oh, God. I don't know, man. Never kept track. 
Zack the Rocker, hello everybody. Hello, Zack the Rocker, how are ya? Gonna be any ducks over here? Hide now. Uh, any live ducks with all that plastic? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Alrighty. I'm gonna grab, grab a few of these uh, mallards here. Farmer boy Muddy with the sub. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh god, we got, got tufted ducks coming in. I think. Oh, no. Canada goose. Geronimo! Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. The gray goose. Boy, we can't, we can't even go to one of our setups without a bunch of geese and ducks coming in. Isn't that the worst? <laughs> oh god, okay. Tough to ducks, they're tough to ducks, so we can't even call them. And they are gonna land right behind that grass, basically. Because the wind's going in that direction. Winds are witching. Sounds nothing like a surgeon at all. A witching, oh. <laughs> I didn't think it sounded like one either. Hayden, hello, how are ya? Don't play Call of the Wild, but I watch your fishing plant stuff from Australia. My goodness gracious, oh, this dude's gonna land on top of us. Good night. Is he gonna fly away, though? I assume they are gonna take off any moment once they realize what's going on. Holy crap, look how many of them there are. Alright, we're gonna destroy these guys. Oh, I was really hoping I'd be able to get that. So here, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, wow, we got some special ones, too. Two piebald, piebald male mallards. Two of them. That's wild. Honestly, I have so many of them now. There's a piebald uh, female mallard now. I've already got one of those, too. No reason to keep taxidermizing them. Yeah, cool. All right, top notch. What's my favorite waterfowl? I think the tufted ducks are really cool looking, man. They got that little swoop over their uh, over their head, like a little uh, Parasaurolophus dinosaur. I was a dinosaur kid. No, I know dinosaurs, bro. Um, oh, we got two over here. Nice. Um, come on. Deep water. Okay, how are we supposed to get these? Come to me, ducks. Come to me. Where's the dog when you need one? How about this? What's another piebald? We got three piebald mallards. I hate saying piebald. It just seems piebald just sounds better to me. I don't care what they say. All right, so we got some mallard decoys. Let's go grab some gray goose decoys. <clears throat> well, poopy poop. <laughs> That's hilarious. There's a guy on a... On Jackass. That's name is Poopies. It makes me happy every time I hear his name. In a weird, childish way. Oh, there's geese flying. Hey! 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 What are you doing? Hanging out by the house, getting poop everywhere. Typical geese. 654 bucks. Seven point six getting up there. Seven hundred seventy-two dollars. Noise. What level are you in Fishing Planet? Oh, tree here. Uh, sixty-eight, I believe. Still sixty-eight. Any luck, Reese? Any luck? I mean, yeah, we've been getting all sorts of ducks, man. All right, gray leg or is that a bean? I can't tell the difference. This is a gray leg, pretty sure. Oh god, we picked up some Canada geese as well. Why did you take out the camera? I hit E. 
There aren't even any bean geese out here, so... I don't know why he keeps taking the camera out. That's so strange. All right. We got how many Grayly Goose do we have? We got six. I think that's fine. We got five Mallard decoys and six Grayly Goose decoys. That's sh that should be fine. Let's go to the other spot now. Other spot. In the Penn State? Never heard it pronounced like Peebald. Hey, Google it. Go to Google pronunciation or whatever and type in Piebald. It, I swear it'll say Peebald. I, I swear, I, I'm I'm 95% sure that it will. I've looked it up before, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. But I would love to be wrong, because I love saying piebald instead of piebald. Pretty sure it is piebald, not piebald. Look it up, that's all I'm saying, look it up. Are the geese nice on here? Uh, they haven't attacked me yet. Wow, that really knocked me down. That almost knocked me out. Fall Can you believe that? Falling off the top of that cliff almost killed me. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's like a... I don't even know. It's like almost a 20-foot fall. Oh, jeez. Okay, here we go. Let's throw out some gray geese. I'm thinking behind us or something. Grayly geese over here. A couple of other ones feeding on rock stuff. You know, crazy geese are feeding on rocks and whatnot. Eating the rocks to put in their stomach and stuff. You know, goose stuff. I don't know. I'm not a goose. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, I got some mallard decoys though, because we kept seeing mallards flying over us. Right, two of those, evidently. Uh, and we got some hens. Throw out some hens. Top notch, okay. Let's throw this out. Oh, we already got geese landing. Are they gonna fly away now? Did we scare them? I'm telling you, that's all it takes. All you need is a few, ge a few decoys just to grab their attention, and all of a sudden they're gonna start landing. So we, we put out how many decoys? Six? Six decoys, and already we got flocks coming down to us. Make sure I'm using the right collar. What else can you hunt? Well, there's 19 different species on this map alone, so there's quite a few different uh, species to hunt. I had a list at one point. I won't be able to see the stream stuff if I have it open, but I'll, I'll name them all off here. We got... We got Mallard, Eurasian Teal, Golden Eye, Tufted Duck, uh, Eurasian Widgeon, Canadian Goose, Greylig Goose, Bean Goose, Capricale, uh, Black Grouse, Willa Ptarmigan. Holy crap, dude, there's so many. This is like the Birds movie. Uh, Hazel Grouse, Rock Ptarmigan, Raccoon Dog, Mountain Hare, White Tail Deer, Moose, Brown Bear, and Lynx on uh, Revan Thule. So quite a, quite a few different species here. See, the thing is now, is even though there's so many waterfowl, like, the, as soon as some ducks get close to you and you scare them off, like, nothing else is going to come land. This guy is, like, coming straight for us, and if he sees us, he's just going to scare everything away. Grabbing these two. Mmm, I hesitated. I hesitated and I only got... Well, technically I still got three, so we're still good. Those those geese were coming down, though, and I was really hoping we'd get some geese. Can we grab these real quick before another flock comes in? Ah, oh, another freaking flock right there. Those were mallards. Interesting. Now I wonder what those are, because they are hypersonic. Something we don't have out here, I guess. 
the guy on Family Guy, you want some of my hot made, hot homemade pee? <laughs> yes, thank you, Jason. I needed that. <laughs> That's hilarious. It just came out of the oven. It's my hot made pee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Put my pee in your mouth. Oh, God. All right, we got more goose. All right, hurry up and land, goose. You were the first ones to see us the last time, and yet, for some reason, the, the darn mallards were the first ones to land on the water. What's the deal? When are you going to play Fishing Planet again? <laughs> oh, yeah, classic. Classic. Um, you, you forgot to say you should have let it more. It's pronounced piebald. Is it pronounced piebald? Pieball. Oh, they do it piebald pie now. <gasps> I swear in the past it was piebald. I swear. I didn't make this up. I'm glad it's piebald though, to be honest. I I'm fine with it. I'm fine being wrong in this in this scenario. Because I'd rather say piebald. I've always thought piebald was a better way to say it. Implying your S N E S. And then he says bye. Alright, good goodbye, Talon. What is your main target right now? Uh so Grayla Geese. Oh. I just landed over there. What are these things? Are these more Grayla geese? Whatever they are, they are flying over and they're not paying us any attention. We got one goose coming straight at us right now. Landing quite a ways out. And we got three, four more about to land in. The mallards look better. Oh, dude, everything looks good. Everything. Yes, the mallards definitely look better. But, I mean, everything looks good, dude. All right, we got a bunch of geese way out there. We can still reach them, though. Had to try. Had to try. Need better choking. Goodness gracious. What's thoughts on leading with the shotguns? Uh, I mean, I think it's kind of fun. Uh, they're so fast that like, you really do need to lead them. And in some cases, I mean, by like six to eight feet uh, out in front of them. I, I think that's really fun. Uh, honestly, it just adds a little bit of skill necessary to do this, which I, I'm fine with, especially when they're moving targets. Because um, shooting moving targets... And uh, the Hunter games has always been my favorite things to do. So, yeah, I'm all about it. I'm all about it, man. I mean, I used to enjoy back... Um, the old recurve. Man, I, everyone was like, oh, the recurve's hard to use. But I, I was really good at the recurve. And then they switched it to be like the longbow because everyone is enjoying shooting the longbow. And I, I can't stand the recurve anymore. <laughs> they, they ruined it. They ruined it making it like the longbow. <laughs> oh, God. But I digress. More Grey Goose. Leaf Deavers is taking off. Hey, tail. tail blah, 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 blah. See you later, Leaf. God. <laughs> At level 13, you can go to Naharan River and catch largemouth and smallmouth. Ooh. When is your next Fishing Planet video? Tomorrow! Come on, man. Keep up. Keep up. Don't you know we always put Fishing Planet videos out on Fridays? That's a lie. We don't. But... Am I calling them enough? That I was helpless since I couldn't afford the first E and walked off. <laughs> I did say something similar to that. He was already at Mudwater. And I was frustrated that he can't... I think these are can Canadians. Not sure. Not 100% sure, but I want to say they're Canadians. We have not seen many ducks. Since, uh... We've been seeing a lot of geese, though. What are you guys? Oh, there's your widgeons. Okay. Good deal. We got more widgeons. You can start calling the widgeons in again, I guess. 
This is a widgeon collar, correct? Yeah. This is what they call a widgeon collar. It landed over there. Bunches of them. Bunches of them. Surely we got a few there. The new map is out. It is out for me. It is out for everyone else on the 28th. Any tips on fishing plan for noobs? You betcha. Watch the BZ Hub videos. There are a bazillion of them. Um, and watch the beginner guide series. Uh, but otherwise, um, EESS, best maps to, uh, to go to to make some moolah and to make your way further into the game. Um, otherwise, just fish and have fun. Try not to get bored. Good tip. Will you be doing missions when they release it on Tuesday? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I try not to do missions until everyone else can play it. Just because I don't want to I don't want to ruin it for anyone. Technically, as a content creator, this would be like the perfect time to do missions. When no one else can play them. Someone somewhere is wondering what the missions are. Usually Fooster was always the one to like. The first thing he did was like play the missions and then he got like a hundreds hundreds of thousands of views on his mission videos because all of the call of the wild you know content creators are avoiding putting out videos about them because they don't want to ruin the missions and then fooster comes along who doesn't care and just makes videos about the missions and uh gets hundreds of thousands of views but uh that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes i guess what do we got over here this look like ducks I mean, technically, if I put out a, a video about the missions, people just, you know, if they didn't want to see it, they just don't click on it, right? The Pikachu collar. Good old Pikachu collar. Little widgeons, man. They do kind of look like a, like a, like they're a not fully grown teal or something, right? Look at that one. That's pretty. Gray. Female there. Top notch. So really, the only one we haven't found yet is Golden Eye. We have not found the Golden Eye yet. We're at eight thousand six hundred and fifty bucks at the moment. Where do you think the Golden Eye is? Further down here, you think? Surely there's another outpost over here or something like that, don't you think? Or over here, even. Maybe we just need to keep going further west to find the golden eye. What do we got? We got Grey Lagoose. Goose. Grey Lagoose Goose coming in. Coming in hot! Are there fishing plant tips on the Discord? I don't believe so. BZ, remember last time I watched the stream when I had COVID? When you had COVID? Maybe. I'm not sure. I, of course, remember everyone who ever shows up at a BZ Hub live stream. So, of course, I remember. Yeah. I, I did blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Duh. Shh. Don't even have to ask. Let's skittle Lucky. Lucky Charm. Lucky Charm? Lucky Charm. Look at you just sending me little, little puzzles. Little pu I feel like I'm reading, reading Egyptian here. When is the new map for Fishing Planet come out on Xbox? That is a fantastic question. You muffin! See that? Now it sounds like I'm saying something mean to you. Fantastic question, you muffin. Leaf Deavers. Next stream, can you go to Quanchkin or St. Croix? Maybe. Not sure. It depends on what everyone uh, votes, huh? Everyone's got a everyone's got a vote. All right. So we got one landed in here. These ones are coming in. They have to land into the wind, so they're circling back around to uh, to land into the wind here. Um, but we got one down on the water somewhere. Oh, did it just pick up and leave? Oh, 
Oh, the Eurasian Widgeon left. Oh my god, did it scare everything else? Alright, I'm sick of this. This is dumb. <laughs> Let's go find the golden eye. Uh, I was just gonna stay for one more flock. And that widgeon scared everything. Wasn't the stream supposed to end at 9.30? I don't know. I never said. I just started a stream at 8 o'clock at night. I, it was a surprise. I don't even know when it's ending. Because I didn't want to get spoiled. See, I understand. Been sub for months and I never regret it. Keep on getting good content. Well, thank you, Wolfie. What would you rate the new map out of 10? Uh, I get it an eight and a half. It's got some things that need fixed. Um, but otherwise, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's a lot of fun. All the birds make it a blast. An absolute blast. So, uh, it's so difficult to decide here. I don't know whether to go to this lake over here, further west, or to go up to this lake, which looks amazing. What are we thinking? North or west? Someone say something. Where are you hunting at, Bo? Well, I kind of just showed on the map there. We're on the bottom left at the moment. Bobby Worst, hey! How's it going? Lake on the right looks juiced. This one over here? Or are we talking about a different one? What we got? What do we got? Something making noise over here. Raccoon dogs. So funny, because I, I never saw a raccoon dog the entire time I was filming my first video. For, uh, for this map. All night stream! Where can we vote for Fishing Planet locations? Uh, next Wednesday, in the morning, I'll put out a survey on the community, uh, the community tab on YouTube, and you can vote. You can vote there. Will, it's Harmigan running! It's running away! Get over here, Tarmigan. Get over here, Tarmigan. Oh, it's flying. Flying away. Get over here. Is that? The frick. That first bullet just like went through it? I don't know. Right before the coast. North. Right before the coast. Are you glad that you have new fish monsters to catch this October? I am, man. Looking forward to it. Gonna be fun. Oh yeah, we got that right left lung on that second shot, bro. Thousand three hundred and thirty-six dollars, that's not bad. Yes, weast. Good deal. We'll go weast. What's up, BZ? Cuckoo. Cuckoo, by the way. We'll have to find a uh, an outpost out here though. I'm not sure. Not sure where an outpost is gonna be. I don't have a tent. You see, I don't have a tent. What's better, Pepsi or Coke? I'm a Pepsi person. I know some people are Coke people, but I've always been a Pepsi guy. I used to, okay, I'll take that back. I did drink Diet, Diet Coke for a long time, but I, I do enjoy Pepsi most of the time better than Coke. Weast. I've been watching your channel for a few weeks now. I love your fishing plant content and call the wild content is even funnier. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Makes me feel good inside. Feel like I'm doing something that's okay. A warning call from the raccoon dog. Kind of angled away there, otherwise I was going to waste her. First time catching your stream live, Ryan Cover says. Well, right on, Ryan. Glad to be glad that you made it. Ali be be God. Well, well, look who has returned. We meet again. We meet again. We meet again. Look 
thousand bucks. <clears throat> okay, I'm gone. <laughs> Are you taking off, David Wells? Good to have you, man. On a second account. Second account? Everglades has poor money. You have poor money. No, Everglades is great. The bass, the peacock bass, and the largemouth bass are great for money. What's up with the fishing call of the wild? What's up with the fishing call of the wild? I don't know, what, what do you mean? It's a new call of the wild game, but uh, fishing instead of hunting. What's there not to get? Instead of running around looking for animals out in the woods, we're going to be looking for animals out in the lake. Fish. <laughs> Had to take a mental break. Well, right on. You deserve a mental break. You, you just take all the mental breaks you need. Cade and no 120 FPS. You have a rule against 120 FPS or something? What's the deal there? I've always been big in the Mountain Dew. Big in the Mountain Dew. I haven't seen you drink a Mountain Dew in, in years. In, ever since you got back from prison. No Mountain Dew for you, evidently. I jest, of course. He's never been in prison. Where the frick is the closest outpost? I want to say it's over here, but at the same time, it kind of just looks like it's maybe a boat to the other side. So I really don't know. Mountain hair. That's another thing I'm, I haven't gotten yet. And do you just run around like open world, not like fishing planet? Uh, yeah, you just, I mean, it's just like this, but instead of hunting, fishing. So there's going to be different, different lakes spread out around here, you know, different ponds and lakes. And it'll be kind of your job to, to go around to the different lakes and find out where the, uh, where the diamond largemouth bass is, you know, or, uh, I don't know, diamond bluegill and that sort of thing. So, and you better bet your bottom dollar we'll be playing a ton of it, so. I'm really, uh, looking forward to the next chapter of the BZ Hub. Call the Wild the Angler, man. Because you know the guys like Flinter and, and Kill Clinton and Scarecrow and DD or something. You know they're all going to stick to hunting. They're going to try the fishing game for the first few weeks or something like that. Realize that it's too much to keep up with fishing and hunting at the same time. And uh, and then they'll just go back to the hunter call of the wild. But no, bro. We, we're going to go all in. Look at all the grouse over there. Unless they're ptarmigan. Um, we're going to go all in on the call of the wild, the angler. I'm super excited about it. Catch red drum in Everglades, only catching 15 pound tarpon. Well, that's not bad. Um, I don't know. Medium spoons, crankbaits, kind of lures I've caught the uh, red drum on in the past. So, I don't know, man. Just gotta keep on, keep on trying. From fishing planet to call off fishing after playing it a while, which do you think you would prefer? Fishing. I've always been a fishing guy, dude. I go fishing any chance I can get. You can ask my brother. Hey, <laughs> I go fishing. Any chance I can get. Wait a second. We just heard some ducks. And they had an interesting call. Are they Goldeneye? Gotta find a good Goldeneye spot, man. And we also need to find an outpost. I'm kind of just making my way down. The Kluwer Farming! Thank you, thank you for the sub. For realsies. When does it come out if you know? I don't know. I would assume in September, October. Is my, is my guess. <laughs> the fishing rods and brain cells. I don't know about that. I'm not going to St. Croix. Any tips? Yeah, bring match rods. Match rods with lots of shiners and seven out hooks. Make sure your match rods are at least 24 pounds. How do you get the three bars on Fishing Planet? Uh, we have a casting uh, video that you can watch and, and try to get an idea. Um, 
Some are just more difficult than others, to be honest. Look at all the grouse behind them. Yeah, oh, there's, there's a Eurasian widgeon over there. Well, golly, tell you what. Not great at a uh, Texas heart shot. Um, not great at sideways hearts. Tried anyway. Yeah, he's not dead. Okay, we're just gonna forget about him. Lots of willow ptarmigans over here, though. Keep on searching for this. Help. Oh, look, there's a glowing spot. We found a glowing spot. That might be where an outpost is. Good deal. Um, I think you can catch bigger fish than bow. Uh, yet to be seen. Yet to be seen. I will say Zachary caught the biggest Jack Creval when we were out fishing in Florida last time. Um, I told him I was like, so you're gonna get a uh, you're gonna get a measurement on it so that you can like get a, a, a mount of it or something like that. He's like, nah, I don't care. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> That's the trouble with when you're fishing with Zach. You know, you you are excited about a big fish that you catch, and you're like, "Wow!" Like, "Ooh, I might I might get a you know a reproduction mount of it or something for my wall," because uh, this is a giant fish. And then if Zachary, my brother, catches it, he's just like, "Eh, it's just a fish. What? Yeah, it's big, but like, what? Like, what's the big deal? I don't get it." Why would I want to pay money to get it up on my wall? What's the deal? Well, I'm going to hop off. Kylie's going to hop off. All right, take care. We'll uh, get some sleep then. I think we might have found a new uh, duck hunting spot here. And another trampoline with the sides on it, man. These people are fancy. Zachary, remember we used to have the trampoline with the sides on? They won't even let us up. That's what happens when you don't let us onto the trampoline. Um, bait barrels, bait barrels confirmed. Little ptarmigans. Where is the, uh, there it is, flagpole. Actually get serious and grab the flagpole. What's your new, what's your opinion on the new map? Dude, I love the birds. I'm, I'm a bird hunting dude though. Like I love hunting birds. Um, especially in a hunter call of the wild and whatnot. So, uh, having a moving target was always more fun than, uh, shooting a static target, just, like, standing there. So, I, I'm pretty ecstatic about all the birds that are on this map. See how they just have this... I mean, it's displayed at every single one of them. I, I think it's coming. I think it's coming. All right, let's see here. We got ten thousand dollars, which we're gonna spend eight thousand of it on a blind, I believe. Should we go with a layout blind? Might as well. We buy a layout blind. Oh, there's sixteen thousand. Well, shucks, man. You can buy a waterfowl blind. Decisions, decisions. We might, uh, we might just go hunt one of our other waterfowl locations and come back here. I think the golden eyes are gonna be here, man. Here at this lake. But we have two different, uh, waterfowl setups so far. That are pretty decent. Let's go back to this one. We'll try this some more. I like the way you say Veclure. It sounds fancy. I don't know if that's how you say it. But that's, uh, that's how I like to say it. My first fish was a 12-pound muskie. Gosh dang, man. Well, good job. Broke his foot on a trampoline. I did break my foot on a trampoline. <laughs> Our parents, when they first got us a trampoline, joked about how everyone, everyone's kids break their, uh, break their, you know, break something on a trampoline. And that, uh, didn't want us to do the same. Be like those other kids. And I was like, nah, we won't. Those kids are stupid. <laughs> And then, of course, we broke. I broke my foot. Alrighty, let's see here. Canada Goose Collar, throw that in there. Come on, Canada Geese!
It's not, but you like it. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> how do you say it? Type it out so I can uh, figure out how to say it. Now we've got tufted ducks and geese, and now we've just got an entire battalion of birds flying down at us. Oh my god. <laughs> They're everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> Shooting the trampoline just ruined the kid's day. Well, that kid shouldn't have been stuck up and closed it so that I couldn't get on there, you know? These Finnish kids, they think they're so cool. Dude, what are you doing? I was gonna say, he's immediately gonna fly up too. That one duck ruined it for every other bird here. Wow. What a cool cat. Thanks a lot, duck. Didn't even call him in. They don't even have a tufted duck call. And yet he like landed right on top of us. All of the tufted duck decoys are way over there. And yet he lands on top of us. What a dude. What do we got here? Those are Grey Goose. Really don't wanna... Eh, whatever. Beck Lure. Beck Lure? Man, I really have to pronounce that. So inside you should see two things that look like the tension bars and there should be one that says advances. That's what you want. Or is that what we're talking about? Like the meters or something? What are we talking about? Two decent musky and an 18 pound pike. Nice, you're killing it. It's a duck army. This, ro this place rocks. Yeah, that's why I keep telling everybody. Tough the ducks way over here. Oh, okay, the rest of them are now coming. Okay. Uh, if I had one upgrade, I would say that all the ducks and stuff need to land faster. I'm so sick of waiting for these ducks to come land. God. And at least get into land, like get into range, you know? Like, I wouldn't mind shooting at some of these that are going in a circle if they would actually get into range where I could shoot them. But they're, like, way up there. They're all gonna land on the other side, too. What a bunch of bastards. Jeez, a wee. What's your thought on the new great one? I, I don't have a thought on the new great one, to be honest. I don't know what it is to be, f to for one, I guess. I always thought it was gonna be moose. And if not a moose, then a reindeer. Uh, caribou. Those are just two of the ones that I thought could be. Well, we only had one shell in the chamber. Guess it's, uh, pretty normal to have one shell in the chamber. We only had one shell in the entire gun, is what I was trying to say. And I already hear more coming in. Don't see them though. You caught every musky species in 10 minutes. What lure were you using, Talon? Oh, totally random, Brandon. You tried warning me. I just wasn't quick enough. Didn't read it. Where's the best place in the Everglades to catch stuff with bait? I don't know. I never used bait when I was at the Everglades. I always used lures. Four hundred fifteen thousand right now. Right on, man. What are you? What are you gonna get with all the money? What are you gonna get? This is honestly the longest I've sat at one of my duck uh, duck slash goose blinds without seeing anything coming towards me. 
I got a bunch of ducks. Maybe they'll like a widgeon call. Like, uh, like widgeon calls? Maybe they like mallard calls. Glowing red night spoon. Huh, that's cool. Cutting hay in FS22 right now. Cutting hay? Is that because you like did like the big uh, big chain of bales instead of like single wrapping them? Here we got one landing. Oh, this is gonna be great. If they can all land right there, oh, that would be magnificent. Okay, get them spread out a little bit. That's fine. Look at that, they landed right on the tufted decoys for once. What are the chances? What are the odds? Did all right there. Top notch. Even getting one of them to float over to me. Good deal. We might run over there and grab them, and I, I can hop into that other blind. But yeah. So this is what I was talking about. As you, as we uh, look around here, there's no option to dismantle the uh, duck or goose decoys. And that's because they're, I specifically placed them just outside the reach from the blind, which is super useful when you're shooting stuff and the ducks float over to you. That way you don't have to worry about dismantling the uh, decoys um, while you're confirming the harvest. Grab these guys. But if you look up in the air, then, uh, then they don't. I know two. That's not a bad one. And you don't have to worry about... You can't dismantle uh, them if you're looking up in the area. 906, that one was even better. Pretty ducks, man. Morphing Phoenix Gaming! My goodness gracious. That's a cool name. Morphing Phoenix Gaming. Close! You're gonna let them in. Got mallards. Bunch of mallards coming in the land now. Oh, and a bunch of tufted ducks now. I'm gonna. I might go buy the. Uh, well, I guess I don't have enough money for it. But at some point, when I have enough money, I might go buy the Kajitori. I don't have it on this account. Um, and give that pump gun a try. Might be, uh, might be good. Not sure. Look at all these g ducks. I called them gooses. But then I was like, no, they're ducks, bro. <laughs> if you could kill any duck, what would it be in real life? <sighs> I don't know, dude. I don't think about that stuff. I honestly, I know this is strange because we're playing a hunting game, but there's like, there's like nothing in this world that I'm like, I wish I could kill it. What are you doing? What are you doing? There's Will Ptarmigan out there too. Got a couple ducks there. Good deal. Man, they like landed right on top of us. Otherwise, I think we would have been all right. All right. How much do we have now? We have 13,000. We're, we're getting close. Let's go uh, change it up. Let's go sit at our goose hunting spot. Just to just to change it up. We've been hunting ducks this whole time. Might as well go try some, uh, go try some geese. Stopping in to say thank you recently run into your fishing plan content and inspired me to get into it Thanks for all the content man. Keep it up more from Phoenix gaming. Thank you. Appreciate it Like a special colored one Trying to make a fly for it. No, I thought we had all three bastards
Got him. There is a demo of the leading. I feel like there's geese stuck over here. Making a lot of noise. Are they stuck in this wall? There they are. Stupid goose. Got trapped in a wall of bushes. How dumb could you be? There's that other one. Got ya! Dummy. Got trapped between a trampoline and a bush. Oh no, we can't reach it. Oh, I got it. Okay. I was gonna say, that's not good. That's what the retrieving dog's gonna be for, for grabbing your birds when they get stuck between trampolines and bushes. Alright. <clears throat> good deal. In what way were the waterfowl reworked? Um, they're a lot quicker now. They're very fast. Um, they land differently, which is pretty cool. Um, they land into the wind, which is also pretty cool. So it's, uh, you can always tell which way the, uh, your, your fowl are going to land because you can just look at which way the wind is, uh, blowing and then kind of prep yourself for them to land in that direction. Um, that doesn't mean that they'll land close to you, but it does mean that they'll land from that direction. They might come towards you from that direction and then ver, you know, sphere off to the uh, to the right or something like that. But uh, yeah, yeah. Grab this dude. This one was either a brown hybrid or something else. So I was kind of curious to see. Brown hybrid. That's all right. Alrighty, let's go lay in the blind for a little bit. We had lots of geese flying around, but we weren't in the blind to uh, to draw them in. Gonna move in my uh, goose collars here. Good deal. This is the first stream you were able to catch. Well, good deal. Woodworking Beagle's back. Well, how about it? Good deal, Beagle. It really doesn't matter. It takes the same amount of time to ferment. Q and D pays the same. Hmm. You see, you can talk to Zach about it. He is a big farming sim guy. What do we got here? Can't tell from way down there. Those look like Canada's. I'm assuming. Canada's. Oh, Canada's. Bryce Daniels is back too. Right on, Bryce. Connor9132 is here as well. Hi. Without your videos, I would not be level 35 in Fishing Planet. Would be like level 20. Wow, that's awesome. It reminds me of when my grandma was like, I'm 87 years old. And me as a little kid said, oh, grandma, you look more like 83. Um, it was a compliment. You see, I was making her four years younger. <laughs> You wouldn't be 35, you'd be 20. All right, thank you. Well, I'll take it as a compliment. I'll take it. <laughs> Weekly lunch check-in, all good things, of course. Thanks for tuning in. Do raccoon dogs have a collar yet? I'm not really sure. You'd think they'd just respond to predator collars, don't you think? This one looks like he's about to land. He's kind of coming, coming around to uh, land into the wind. Yeah, see him coming down into the wind as designed, but just way off course. Way off course. The decoys are way over here, man. What are you doing? So, I mean, this is kind of why I gave, uh, I give the map an eight and a half. <laughs> I just wish they would, uh, 
I wish the geese would land, like ducks and geese, I wish they would land faster. And I wish they would land with more consistency. I'm sure people in real life feel that way too, but I just feel like they're really random. They just really, I mean, too random. Like sometimes they'll land way over there by the house, even though all of the decoys are over here. Like it would be one thing for them to like land on this right side sometimes and land behind us sometimes or land to the left sometimes. But for them to like land way over there out of sight or way over there out of sight, like that that just seems a little too much to me. That's just annoying. It's not even not even fun. <laughs> we wait here for like two minutes for them to finally come land, and then what do they do? They land we're gonna hundred yards away from us. Real life random never perfect. I don't know. I've never been goose hunting. I've been duck hunting before. And maybe that's what the difference is. You know, maybe ducks are just better at landing close to you or something like that. But, uh... I don't have very many memories of ducks, of calling ducks in for them to, like, land on the complete opposite side of the pond. Which is what these geese do sometimes, it feels. Whoa! Come on, man. That was a shot. That was a kill. Come, come on now. Come on now. We just got, we just got shafted big time there. Did we at least get this one when it was coming in the land, or did it get into some sort of animation struggle? We have a blood here. Uh, I feel like their landing animations mess with how they, uh, how they get shot. If you ask me. Yeah. I don't know. There sure are a lot of geese over here, but I don't like the way they land. I don't like where they land. I don't like how they land. If it wasn't for there being so many of them, I would just pick up everything and move to a different location. Otherwise, it's a, it's a really nice open field. And you'd think that it would be a great spot to shoot geese, but it's usually just not. Maybe we just need to get a waterfowl blind out here instead of sitting in a layout blind. It would work the same, and we'd be able to see a little bit better. Maybe that's what we should do. Hmm. 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 That's... I'll take it. I'll take it with us. I just caught BZ Hub live! Car Caranza! Carranza! We just caught Carranza in the chat. How about that? Look at that. You caught me and I caught you. This is amazing timing. I want... I want it now. I want a, a waterfowl blind. Give me the waterfowl blind. Here we go. This is going to work better. I think. It's going to look a little ridiculous, but it's going to give us much better opportunity to shoot these geese, I think. Oh crap, there's a bunch of them coming in. Alrighty. Yeah, this looks ridiculous. I'm gonna be able to see the geese a lot better standing up than laying down. So are you just goose hunting or are you hunting anything? Or are you hunting anything? Nah, bruh. We're just sitting here with a bunch of goose decoys around and just chillaxing. Thought I'd get a tan while I'm out here. Now we're, we're, we're waiting for geese, which come by pretty frequently. We just had a flock come over and get scared away from me running and placing this blind down, so... We're, we're close. We just gotta wait for another one to come in. They come in probably every minute. Every minute or so. Much faster than Hirschfelden, so it's not, not really that big of a wait by any means. 
Have you hunted for ducks yet? Absolutely. We've been hunting for ducks and geese this entire time. Um, we actually found a really cool spot for teal, too. So I was thinking if we could get a flock of geese in really quick. Oh, here we go. Then, uh, then we can move on to uh, Grey Goose there. Um, oh, what do we got over here? Then we can move on to uh, we can move on to our teal spot. We've also got a good spot for tufted duck as well. And we uh, we just got a good spot for widgeon. So really, the only one we're missing is a. Uh, is a uh, fracking um, golden eye, but we think we found a good lake for them. We just need to get enough money to uh, put together another waterfowl blind and all that. Just us happy few, right? Finally made it to a live stream. Jackson says, "Well, well glad you made it, Jackson. Can you count down from three for Zach? Three, two, one. Never watched a live stream. Well." Glad I'm. Uh, this is fun. This is fun. I think as long as there's action going on. Otherwise, I feel guilty not showing anything cool. Just as much as you're probably bored with me not doing anything cool. See how long they take to land? Like they just take forever. It's just boring. Just waiting here for them to land. This is why I gave Revan two and eight and a half. <laughs> there's just. There's one and a half stars worth of things I need them to fix before I give it a 10. Cut him! Cut him! I didn't, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I saw the 336.3 hours. Is that him or you? Call the wild fishing game that's coming out? I am ecstatic about it. I'm a huge fishing guy, so definitely excited. Why, why, why did they land way over there? After all that waiting. All that waiting and they landed over there. Why? We have all of these geese over here happily eating and you land over there. Like what? Like what? Why? All right, I'm done dealing with stinky geese. They just don't do what you want them to do. Most of the time, it seems. But this teal spot was pretty good. Let's change the time to morning and then we'll head out to this teal spot. Derek Malovich is here. Right on, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Our game crashed. This kind of gaming is my favorite. Oh, yeah. Could have got a full inventory of iron ore by the time they... I know. I See, I'm not thinking about it. I'm just not... I'm just not thinking. You know? Ugh. It's okay, though. I'll get back into it. I've just been doing all of the free quests at the moment. Been running around getting a witch's potion. And, um, God, what other ones? I need to go get the rum. Haven't done that one yet. Uh, there's a bunch of them I haven't done. Alrighty. Let's try this again. See if we crash. Wouldn't load the vid, Talon says. Hey, no big deal. Seem like very anti-social geese. I agree. Random Brandon. I, I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Okay. Alright. Let's uh, let's change the time to uh, morning, then we'll go sit out in our uh, teal spot. Okay, door just pushed us out of the way. That's cool. It's uh, it's really bright out at six in the morning here. It's uh, it's pretty amazing. Like this is six in the morning at Revan Tuli. The sun's already out. <laughs> I mean, if that doesn't say it enough, I don't know if it's broken or if that's just how it is in Finland. Maybe we're so far north that at 6 in the morning the sun is already, like, an hour uh, up 
I guess. I guess it just depends on the time of year. Better see you, but some birds in the ground. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna put some teal on the ground. I mean, they might not be ground. They might go into the water, but they are gonna they are gonna go from flying to not flying. I, I can promise you that. Uh, good times, relaxing sometimes. Oh yeah, 16 days, 16 hours, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. It's nice. It's real nice. They've never seen their favorite YouTuber shoot them. Ah, other option you could do become a goose to hunt to hunt the. That's what I should do. I should dress up as a goose to hunt the geese. All right. Tell me we have the teal collar. We do. Good deal. Good teal. <laughs> like deal, but teal. Get it? All right. Yeah, that's enough of that. Let's see. Let's throw in the gray leg too. So I think we only have teal decoys out here i was wondering if i threw a tufted one out here too doesn't look like it but we got mallards there's teal keegan Does anyone have an estimate on how much a good setup will be? Uh, I don't know how much it would cost, but I kind of have like... We got an interesting wind here for this location because the wind is off in this direction. on the island over there. That's cool. We'll just have to snipe him with our shotgun here. There's a bunch of teal coming in the land from over there, too. Oh, what do we got? Tufted ducks. I knew we should have threw out tufted duck decoys, man. Do we have enough money for... We do have enough money for tufted duck decoys. Could go get some. Get them! Just how many hours that is. I've never played Call of the Wild, only ever watched you play. Well, right on. It's a fun game, man. I always enjoy it. I, I think I don't enjoy it as much as other people do, but uh, I still enjoy it. Lots of females. Lots of females there. Tough to duck mating call. Yeah, we definitely need to go get some tough to duck decoys, man. Go get some. I think green wing teal, they should pretty much copy the paste, the Eurasian teal. I, I agree, dude. I think they literally could do that. <laughs> you know? And I think people would be okay with that, just to have the uh, green wing teal in, uh, in Mississippi. Let's get some tough to ducks here. Where are you? Tough to ducks. Let's get some drakes and some hens here. Good deal. Okay. We're good. Back to the spot. 28th. 28th. How hard do you think the waterfowl hunting will be on controller? Ooh, that brings up a good point. I'm not sure. <clears throat> it it might take a little bit of practice. 
you know? Uh, I pass up another teal floating while getting those hens. I guess it'll be there when we get back, eh? If it was like floating dead, right? Or was it, uh, was it alive floating? If so, he was just dumb. Alright, let's throw out five of these, and we'll throw out five of the drakes as well. Just to, uh... Well, at least we weren't, like, one duck away from, uh... From, uh, buying, like, a whole set of decoys or something, eh? A male, 350, uh, 342. Pretty good. Have some ducks coming in there, but we're choosing not to get them to uh, set out decoys here. So we're intermixing our decoys now to have a better chance of getting tufted ducks and, and Eurasian teal coming in. Because they're the two birds that seem to come in all the time at this location. And, of course, a bunch of mallards come by. Ugh. Well, I guess we'll have to get some mallards to throw out here as well. Ugh. I'm probably going to set up my decoys up how I normally hunt in real life and have four or five different kinds of decoys. Yeah. I I, I think that's a great idea, man. I mean, I, that's the... That is, like, the cool thing about these locations, right? You can set out here... And, you know, tell yourself, oh, a bunch of mallards. Ah, uh, if only I had some mallard decoys. Then you can go out, get some mallard decoys. But, like, we've been seeing a lot of tufted ducks and uh, the teal. So we specifically went out and got uh, tufted and teal. And, of course, now all we're seeing are mallards. So, um, so next time we'll have to go get some mallards. Um, but, you know, we're not setting out a ton of them, right? We bought... 10 of the drakes and 10 of the uh the hens and you know if we find another location with tufted ducks i'll throw those other five at that location or the i guess 10 all together and then we'll have uh we'll have a bunch to put there now the wind's way over here for the east almost Love the beginner series on Fishing Planet. Well, right on, Easy Clips. I'm glad. Do you know how big a bass can get? Uh, close to like 12 and a half, I believe, at the Everglades. Have you ever shot diamond duck or goose? I've shot a diamond goose in uh, Hirschfeld, in Canada goose. But I haven't shot one here yet. I haven't really been looking, though. I mean, you could just literally scope out each one of these and go, okay, that's a two. Holy crap, that one literally just landed on us. Oh, well, I did not expect that. I was watching those ducks all flying over top of us, and that one literally, like, almost landed into the blind. Zoot's back. Right on, Zoot. Should have 100 out, man. Come on, man. Oh, I know. As you can tell, I have $893 right now. I'm broke. I'm broke hunter. A duck coming over to us, though. Oh, that's nice. I think we're going to have to run over and grab the other duck. This is the one nice thing about having that water layout blind. You've got to be joking me. So with the tufted ducks, you can't really do anything. You just kind of sit here and wait for them to land. But what is your favorite style of music? Um, I don't know. I switch it up. I listen to a lot of different stuff. I listen, um, 
I like some chill alternative hip hop most of the time if I'm just working on stuff. I think that's just because of my situation. My, my time to listen to music is usually while I'm working on stuff. So listening to something without words, but also it kind of has a nice soothing uh, chill beat to it is kind of nice. So I listen to a lot of alternative hip hop because of that. Um, it's really important that the songs don't have words though, because I'll, I'll get uh, confused in my head while I'm working on stuff. All right, well, we just had a ton of tufted ducks land right here on this hill. Too far out now. Yeah, once we have enough money for that, uh, that pump gun, we're going to have to give that a try. That could be... Uh, I have heard that it's it's even difficult to do it with that though, because uh, cycling all those shells really spaces it out. But wow, we got we got five. That's not bad at all. There's mail nine seventeen eight oh seven 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 triple seven on that last one, bro. Uh, let's go grab this dude. We got six tufted ducks on that one. That was great. 943. That one's pretty close. 20 away from diamond there. Four new multi mounts in the lodge. Really? That's cool. I haven't even looked. I guess we could go look, huh? I don't know how many people have seen the multi mounts. I haven't. There's our uh, teal that we shot that we didn't go get. We got 3,700 bucks right now. We got lots of ducks. Better hurry and get in the blind. It was okay for certain age, and guess what? I got it. Well, right on, Zoot. Why don't you just shoot at the birds flying over you? I know, right? I'll just shoot them all down. Look at all of them going around, huh? Um, no. Those birds are really high up there. Um, and be quite difficult. To, uh, to get them. While we could just wait for them to come in closer, and then, of course, we can shoot them as they come in closer, and as they're flying away, um, gives us more time to uh, shoot them while they're in closer distance. A bunch over here. What are you guys? A bunch of mallards that aren't going to pay attention to me at all? Really need to go get some mallard decoys. <laughs> I think we actually ran out of music. We played our entire playlist of music. I tell you what, everyone, I'm going to go get a um, glass of water or something like that, but uh, we're going to run a quick ad. Sorry, muted myself. Chillax for a moment. Hey, Noob now has memberships here on YouTube. That's right, for only $1.99 a month, you can show off your love with a BZ Hub badge of honor next to your name and giving you access to all of your favorite emotes such as King Bjorn, Gotham, Mad Lad, and Get Rexed. More emotes will be added with more members. But I have lots of money, what else could I do? If you want to support the BZ Hub more, check out the Hub Lord membership at $9.99 a month. On top of a badge of honor and your favorite emotes, you will also get your name featured at the end of every BZ Hub episode. But lots of money. For those of you with that cash burning a hole in your pocket, check out the Hub Master membership at $19.99 a month. Not only do you get the badge of honor, emotes, and your name featured at the end of every episode, but you also get a complimentary BZ Hub membership on Twitch for our weekly Twitch streams. Plus, you know, everyone will know you're a Hub Master, and who doesn't want that title? So, get off your booty and join the BZ Hub today! Alrighty. Good deal. Have any ducks land while we were waiting? Doesn't look like it. Ugh. 
going to wake the kids. I was talking about earlier, but I still get to see. I'm so sorry about that horrible tip. <laughs> More mallards. We literally just need like two ducks, and then we can go buy some mallard decoys. That's all we need, just two ducks. Zach, did you see my GTA time? You heard of the new hunting game that's coming out this December. Heard it's going to have a shot replay camera. Also heard it's going to have dangerous animals that can attack you. What's it called? I don't know. We have uh, Way of the Hunter coming out. We have uh, Ultimate Hunting. Is that the name? Ultimate Hunting Simulator. I believe. I heard them. There they are. Two of them. Is that really all there is? Oh, bunch of ducks up there. Any diamonds? Nope. See, Zachary is saying it's impressive, but you have to understand that he is an administrator at the hospital, so he doesn't he doesn't have like a ton of time to play games. He he's he's just being nice. What I like is spoiler of one of the multi mounts. I don't. I, I guess I don't know. It's not really a spoiler. The minute I go to the trophy lodge, we're gonna see what they are. Boy, this rain is really making it difficult to see uh, everything around us, man. Visibility is way down. Mallards probably just flew over us. Oh. Oh, wow. That's a bunch of them. Tufted ducks. Gonna give Fishing Planet uh, another attempt tonight. You better. Amber, hi. I see you. Goodness gracious. Say something else. <laughs> Once you say hi, that's all you need. I'll read it at some point. You say something else, and then we'll start having a conversation. Two black bears. Oh, two black bears, huh? Neato Frito. I don't know why I called that. These are tufted ducks. They don't even listen to anything. They would all land at a good location. Be nice if one of these was level three, though. All right, you ready for this? I really thought we'd get more than that. There were so many of them right in one spot. These tufted ducks, they all land. The entire flock will land in like a eight foot diameter circle, it seems. That worked though. quick enough. Oh, they're alarmed. Okay. Classic. Classic alarmed. 
bust them. Bo, have you ever been hunting? Yes, of course I have. You know, I used to have a video out. It, it got... I don't know about this, but I have a little bit of a conspiracy that something happened with YouTube. Amber, seriously, just say something once. <laughs> You're just ruining the chat. I need you to say something once, or don't say it at all. And that's, that's too bad. But yeah, we used to have a video out that kind of like, showed all of our hunting stuff and fishing stuff throughout the years. And, uh, and then it mysteriously had an error. And you can't watch it anymore. Now why is that? I ask you. Tough the ducks are like old man, they can't hear. Fighting trout for ten minutes or more? Goodness gracious, the rainbows? I guess there's unique cutthroats there too, aren't there? Unique cutties? I think anyway that I'll fight quite a long time. Grab this dude. This dude that I meant. Alright, now we can actually go get some mallard decoys if we wanted to, to throw in here. We're just gonna make the perfect duck setup for this spot. We're gonna have everything that we could possibly hunt right here. You better than this, Mystic Shrub says. <laughs> That's right, you're better than this. We know you are. Alright, let's take these tough to ducks out. Let's get some mallard decoys. Unless we have some mallard decoys. Most basic decoy we could have. We have none of them. Cool. Alright. Well, that's all we can afford at the moment. Good deal. Let's go. Oh, we need to put them in our inventory. Let's go show off our new duck decoys. What's up, Bo? Love the Fishing Planet series and really looking forward to this map for the Hunter. Yeah, this is a fun map. I've been watching some of your older Fishing Planet streaks and I saw when you were using retrieving lures, you were using open face reels instead of bait casters. Is there a reason or preference? Uh, honestly, it just came down to what I could afford at the time. Um, and a lot of the a lot of the rods for casting are really short and they don't let you cast very far so sometimes I would just uh... um, sometimes I would choose a uh, spinning rod because the spinning rods usually had longer rods that allowed me to cast further um, but otherwise Duck. I had to lead that one by like six feet. You've caught a cutthroat in real life? Nice. I have to travel a little bit of a ways to uh, fish for trout, but I've caught a brown trout and a rainbow. Um, but I I love I love fly fishing, so I'd love to go out and catch more, that's for sure. Just gone for trout and got my first unique. It was a golden trout. Right on, man. Yeah, that's a good that's a good first unique for a lot of people. Oh, oh. Saw shadows for a lot of ducks. No idea where they are. Let's uh let's just get out. We gotta place our uh, mallards. Gotta place our mallards anyway. Like to Give them a little bit of a spin. Don't have our uh, hen decoys. I think I'll just uh, throw out all ten for now. At least now we'll get some mallards to come land, though. That's the point. Got a mixed bag out here, all chillaxing. See, already we got a mallard coming in. A single mallard. <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> Our first mallards we have coming in. 
There's one. Oh, there's more. Okay, there were just some laggards. They were they were hanging out in the back. Had to go at 9:30 a.m. Hour still going. Yeah, we're still going, man. I was excited. I was really excited to get going here. Plus, we haven't hit 100 likes yet, so I was like, well, we at least got to stay until we get 100 likes. I haven't even brought it up to this point. So, that's pretty good. Shit is usually pretty good. You know, I went from never bringing it up to, like, bringing it up every, like, 15 minutes to, uh, to, to now. I didn't I haven't brought it up this entire stream until now. 97 now. We're getting closer. 99? Oh, we just went to 98. They said, no, never mind. I don't like it that much. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I, I, I suppose. I deserve that. That's a Eurasian teal. My god, there's so many ducks. They're like flies. There's a pie ball. As long as they don't see me, should be good. See, this is when you and a couple of buddies could just be sitting here like, okay, I'm going to take these guys on the right here. You take the ones on the left. They're all going to take off now. I can't do too much by myself. We got three there, but we could have got a lot more. They'd all landed close to each other where we could have shot them. Locks coming in. Also, with the ones we just shot, if we were out in the water, ground hybrid there, uh, if we were out in the water, like all of these would have just floated over to us and we wouldn't even have to get out. So that is, again, one of the big benefits to uh, using the water blind. Oh, we hit 100. Let's go. I'm used to goose hunting and just watching you with these ducks is crazy because of how fast and different they are. Yeah, well, the goose are a lot faster now, too, Keegan. Uh, the geese will, when they take off from the ground, I mean, they just go, boosh, and they're gone uh, in a matter of seconds. So, they're out of range real quick. The fancy way, the clure. <laughs> You can go home now, Mark D says. I can go home. All right, see you later, everybody. Take care. No, we'll stay for a little bit longer, maybe till 11.30 or something like that. Find the person who unlikes to say unfriendly things to them if you want. <laughs> yeah, call them a uh, cotton-headed ninny muggins. What are you gonna do for 30,000 subs? Call me crazy, because the last time I did this, like, people actually unsubscribed. <laughs> Which just blew my mind. Um, but I figured since people have been asking about it for the longest time, I, I would do uh, a, a short little room tour video. Uh, people are always like, you need to show us your setup and stuff like that. And I always say, back long time ago, I did a setup tour and I actually lost subscribers because of it for some reason. <laughs> Um, but I figured, uh, once we hit 30,000, we might as well do it. Might as well do it. Those look like tufteds. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're, uh, mallards. I don't know. There's certainly something that's not coming and landing here, though. What's the deal? What do we got here? Bunch of mallards. Ducks look so much more realistic. Yeah, they look amazing. Honestly, everything... 
I, I feel like everything looks kind of more realistic. But uh, the ducks especially. Ducks especially look more realistic, that's for sure. Not a big deal, Carranza. I think we got some tufteds up there too. Just got a mixed bag right now. The f just sky is full of birds. Those are teal. Okay. Legit just found your channel due to the angler. What are you helping the for most in the game? Oh god. Honestly, just a, a nice next generation fishing game uh that is semi challenging you know it's fun it doesn't take a ton of time to play the game um but from a content creator's point of view i want people to kind of like wonder how to do things to look up videos <laughs> so i want it to be a little bit difficult difficult to uh figure out everything but i don't want it to be overly difficult that I'm like sitting there for hours trying to catch a fish sometimes what happens and <clears throat> Russian fishing um, dare I shoot way out there to try to get those ducks that is the question or do I just shoot these guys close by mallard and a tufted duck there okay I just shoot these dudes Well, you aim the gun, golly. And just like that, all the birds are out of range. It's I feel like this is definitely gonna be It's honestly gonna be like a test of friendship to sit out here and try to shoot lots of ducks. <laughs> Cause like the moment someone shoots something, you have like two seconds to shoot as many ducks as you can and then they're all gone. But at least they're at least they're quick to come back, you know. Any more, man? How would you do it? Because I don't think there is anything you can do. Well, Dallas Fisher, you are just, uh, you're a very complimentive person, and I appreciate it. <laughs> but I, I, I think, I think I have, I have areas I could definitely improve. I have a short fuse sometimes. I get really mad at people, really, really quickly. Um, and I can always work on that. I think we all have things we can work on at times. Cracked is here. Agro Bogan. Thank you, thank you. First time showing up on your stream, but watch all your Fishing Planet videos every day. Well, right on. Appreciate it, Cracked. Glad you made it. Downloading Fishing Planet right now. Give it a shot. It's free, free fishing game. Might as well give it a shot. Devs have put a lot of effort into the animal graphics. Oh yeah, definitely. I think so anyway. I, which, I, you know, honestly, I kind of, uh, I kind of, uh, credit that, I guess, towards, like, ultimate hunting. But also towards the way of the hunter, because I believe they kind of had a hand in that game as well. THQ, um, being kind of like the same. I'm not sure if that's, like, a subsidiary company or if it's, like, a sister company or I'm not really sure honestly but I feel like because all the animals look really nice in that game they're kind of going together a little bit yeah do you think fishing planet will start adding more because of the angler or do you think they will just stay the same I think they'll just stay the same <laughs> uh, I don't think fishing planet I I don't know I feel like they don't they don't try. They honestly just don't try. Uh, you know, they made some creative choices here and there, but they just, they just don't seem to like, everything they do is like 80%. They're like, they're like perfect with being a B grade, B grade game with everything they do. You know, you can be like, oh man, those monster fish are, like the concept of going after a monster fish that's so cool 
And then, like, these new monster fish that are just, like, you know, a, a bull shark, but it's scaled up and it's a little bit darker. The fighter shark. It's like... Ah, you could have done something a lot cooler with that, but you just you just made a big shark that's darker. Like, eh, B. Could have gone for an A, but you just settled for a B. Um, I think a lot of the the new fish, the Goliath tiger fish and all that sort of stuff, like I feel like their graphics don't look amazing. Oh man. Did we get anything on that corner there? I don't think we did. I think those are just rocks. Well, we took one shot out there. Oh, oh that's one duck. You got a duck out there. Okay, cool. Did get one. Look at all these guys. Didn't even have to sit here for 10 seconds and we already got more. Love your dog. <laughs> Hopefully next time I come here, you'll remember me, McClure. I remember everybody. Of course I will. I love your dog, though. Remind me of his name. We have Bjorn in Oslo. Oslo. And Bjorn. Your subscriber notifications and dono notification look like Duck Hunt. They do indeed. Yeah. I specifically designed them to be like Duck Hunt, but be my dogs instead. Mine goes, I oh, have done something very wrong. Yeah, exactly. Same with me, man. To the doggos. I don't know where they are, honestly. I can look out the door, but I don't know. I'm not sure where they'll be. Maybe when we come down to the last few minutes. Come on, Teal. I'm, I'm quacking your thing this entire time, and yet you land way over there. Can't you tell? We're all over here. What's all that? Hypersonic mallards. <laughs> eh. Is this map out? No, it's not. There's a bunch of them just piled up in one spot, so I'm really hoping we got a bunch of them there. When is the next stream? Monday. Next stream is Monday. Oh, the Bjorn anime, those first time anime. Yeah, first time uh, learning how to use uh, Adobe, uh, what is that? After Effects? Adobe After Effects. I learned how to use that program specifically to make all those animations. <gasps> My goodness gracious. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi. You wanna say hi? Are you are you tired? He's tired. He's tired. Oh, well, we got here right though. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need you to... Here, come here. Come here. Come over here. Come over here. Get over here. There we go. There we go. How about that? There you go, bud. What do you think? You're out of focus. There we go. There we go. Crazy dog. Huh? What were you doing? Were you sleeping? Were you sleeping? You want that treat? You are staring so intently at the camera. <laughs> What's that treat? <laughs> Give it to me once. <laughs> there we go. Good boy. Oh. Slip. Pah. Pah. Thank you. There you go, bud. We got we got ducks coming in. Bye, Ozzy. 
Are you hitting multiple ducks with one shot? It's so that's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. Any chance we can get? Water spotting birds like a champ. Like a champ. Hunting Simulator 2 is the easiest game for ducks. Yeah, I agree. What's the score of the biggest deer behind you? Uh, it's like 147 or something. It was a 12 point buck. It just didn't have a lot of, uh, just not a super high score. All these ducks just landed right next to a dead duck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. God damn. I was leading them a little too far in the beginning there. Cool. I think we got four of them there. Female tufted, female teal, another female teal. Another female teal. There's a male. We've been getting a lot of golds, just no diamonds. A lot of things close to a diamond, too. Is bass the best thing at the Everglades? Eh, yeah, pretty much. I think the peacock bass. The peacock bass is technically better than the largemouth bass. If you want to if you want to be specific. But, uh, otherwise, yeah, just, just fish for the bass. And they're usually, like, the quicker things to catch as well. You can mix it up once you get some better equipment. And, uh, and fish for some of the bigger fish on the saltwater side. But, uh, but yeah. Alrighty. Should we mix it up and go somewhere else now? I have seen... Actually, eh... We do have a layout blind, but don't have... Can we go try to shoot some geese? We have 12 minutes. Need to get enough for my uh, aquatic layout blind for the uh, golden eye spot. I feel like it would be a lot quicker making money through the geese, where we get two times as much money as the ducks. So maybe we'll go move over there. Although the geese frustrate me beyond belief. Bass the best thing at the Everglades. Um, I already answered that, so I don't know why I'm reading it again. <laughs> Why are all the shotguns in the game horrible? They only come with three bolts. Uh, no they don't. Uh, there's actually a... Okay, thank you, door. I did not expect that to happen. Uh, this Cacciatore has six, six rounds, you can see right there. Magazine size, six rounds. Uh, it's a pump gun. Otherwise, uh, these have five, but I hate using them because this sight is annoying. Uh, two there. Uh, those are technically two. Three on that, three on the semi-autos, and two on those. I mean, very traditional. You have to remember that this is a European uh, game studio. And uh, in I believe in the UK, you can't even use uh, you can't even use semi-autos. So I think they just allowed pump guns. Otherwise, it used to be only break break action uh, shotguns up to the last like few years ago something like that man we had an entire flock coming in we scared them all away so i used to have another spot that changed this up here and it was on the edge of the water right over here and it was all right except that the geese kept landing in this field when i was trying to call them in which I eventually ended up making this big old goose area here because they kept landing in the field while I was trying to, you know, trying to call them in. <laughs> Ducks feathers look amazing. I agree. What level are we in fishing plant? 68 at the moment. That my three biggest fish at St. Croix so far on the fishing plant of monsters. Good deal. I'll have to look at them. 
Is that shotgun a 12 gauge? No, it's a 20 gauge. Um, the gauges really don't matter, though, in the game. It doesn't seem like, anyway. Come on, geese. There you are. Gray leg geese. Gray leg geese. Oh, okay. Lots of geese. Wheel or number in a hat. For what? What? What would the number represent, Dallas? I mi I must have missed something. They remind me of my late Labrador. Her name was Bonnie. In case you were wondering, well, I was wondering. That's a great name for a lab. What kind of lab was she? Amber's here again. Hi, Amber. How are ya? Can you field hunt ducks? Ah, uh, I don't know. I haven't seen any close. I mean, I'm sure you, you might be able to call them in if they were close to that lake over there. But you can't... I don't believe you can put duck decoys down. Uh, on the ground. I don't know. I've never tried them. So maybe you can. How are you, Amber? What is the favorite thing to hunt and call a wild? Ooh, I don't know, man. It used to be geese. But now these geese are driving me crazy, so I don't know how I feel. At least those ones landed semi-close. Good golly. Hopefully they don't take off. Yep, there they go. Okay. Oh, you bastard. Ugh. Like, why? Why did you do that? You just, just decided to get up and leave for no reason. And of course, we have more coming at us and I'm out running around. Scared the geese like I did this year because they were roosting on a pond. I scared them in the dark. It also scared me. <laughs> I can understand that. It's the difference between 12 gauge and 20 gauge. Technically, I mean, in real life, it'd be the size of the, the shot inside the... Uh... No, I guess that's not true. I guess it's just the diameter. No. God dang. You got me all confused now. It's just the diameter of the shell, I guess. 12 gauge. Ah. Uh... Someone somewhere is going, no, he's so stupid. 12 gauge is the metal they use. The thickness of the metal they use in the shell. No, I really, I'm not entirely sure. To be honest. Those are gray legs. Bunches of them, goodness gracious. Diameter of the barrel, okay. That makes sense too. It's similar. Gotta be able to put the shell in the barrel, but yeah, I mean, it does make sense, the barrel. <laughs> Dark chocolate lab, right on. She loves being picked up. Here's the thing, Bjorn hates being picked up. <laughs> he hates any sort of physical contact. Oslo, on the other hand, is the exact opposite. Oslo loves being cuddled, loves being picked up. Um, but yeah. It's hilarious how different Bjorn and Oslo are. I mean, yeah. That's... I mean, that... That is the effect of all of that. But that's... That's not what 20 gauge means. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... 30-06 versus 223 means the diameter of the bullet, right? It, yes, it also means the more powerful, you know, cartridge and round and all that, but that's not what 30-06 means. You know, do you understand what I'm saying, land in 100?
Gonna be so good. I have this feeling. I have a feeling too. I'm hooked on a feeling. I'm high on believing. Look at all of them landing down there. Way away from where we are. That's cool. You guys just land down there, okay? Make sure to land uh, way away from where we are so that you can't get shot. That, uh, that'll work with us. <sighs> Stupid geese. They're already making a warning call. Gosh dang it. I'm trying to lead them, they're just so far away. That's it, I'm already tired of goose hunting. Again. <laughs> Jeez. And I don't feel bad at all when they get stuck in the ground, because you guys are annoying. So much harder to do YouTube things on a phone. I can imagine. Looks like they short land the majority of the time. I know, right? I think it's just the wind direction. I think these trees here might mess with them as well. I don't know. Should we just set up a, uh, a spread like right there? Let's try it. I'm doing it. I'm moving all these decoys and stuff right over here. This is either going to work beautifully, or it's going to be dumb. <laughs> he does own a beagle. Can we hunt ducks? You can hunt ducks! That's what's great about this place. There's ducks and geese and all sorts of stuff, man. You can just hunt to your heart's desire. Why does it keep doing that? Come on, Goose. Let me dismantle. Stop bringing up the camera. Thing is, is we need to, like, get all of them. Otherwise... Otherwise, when we call in the geese, they might land. Might land way over here instead of in front of us. Why, why, why do you keep bringing up the camera? Just being annoying. Completely picked up this decoy spread. Let's move them down here. Names. Don't have too many 22 bird hunters anymore. I mean, I still think the 22 would probably be a great way to go about it. I just don't like using 22s. I think it's cheap. It's cheap, man. We can all shoot them with 22s. Here we go. Throw up some Canadians. Um, now we 
got some gray legs. Putting up decoys behind us. Some out here on the sides. Feeding gray legs. Feeding Canada geese. And what else do we got? We got bean goose, which we don't need to place out. All right, I'm curious to see how this works. Come on, geese. We're literally set up right next to the house. So, I <laughs> Couldn't get any easier to walk over to this spot. But this just ends up being like the best goose hunting spot in the game. <laughs> Could you imagine? Out of the ducks I've killed, the wood duck has tasted the best so far. Really? Very cool. Been a problem on the Xbox since Waterfowl has been released. It's frustrating. It's, sounds frustrating. Bo has a Discord. Great place to share things. Very true. <clears throat> Why eat ducks when you can eat geese? I tell you what, I ate a goose uh, not too long ago, a few months ago, and I was bewildered by how chewy it was and how much of it got stuck in my teeth well, it drove me insane and then that never happened with ducks i think ducks have a very distinct taste uh you can definitely taste it and know that it's a duck <laughs> but it was good uh, and the goose was good too don't get me wrong but i was just really annoyed by it getting stuck in my teeth i told someone else and they were like yeah we used to always make jerky with it and i was like okay I could try jerky next time I get one, but uh, but I never had to deal with that with the duck, you know? Just ate the duck. Just, just, I just ate the duck. You wanna know what I did with the duck? I ate it. Now, of course, we're not getting anything coming. Come on, geese. We had flocks upon flocks upon flocks. And now we got nothing. What's the deal? How are we just got this best spot in the game? Nothing's showing up. What's the deal? Imagine you can fish in this game. It's a hunting game. Why would I want to fish in it? If I want to play fishing, I'll, I'll play a fishing game. Are there brown bear models updated for Medved? Well, I don't know. I don't know. They look nice, though. Look at all my fellow Canadians out here. I know, right? I When I think about what you look like, Woodworking Beagle, I think about these Canadian geese. I assume that your head is black with white patches on your cheeks. I assume all Canadians look like that. Just like the geese. My god. This is the longest dry spell of geese I have ever experienced. Why are they choosing to do it now? I think I finally worked through all the geese that they had over here. Alright, well. I guess we can go back to that spot. There's always a lot of ducks and stuff over there. Oh, I tell you, we haven't been to this spot in a while either. Let's go here. This spot has geese too. 
You can just take one. Oh, I know, right? Just go up to one and go, hey, you want some bread? I gotcha! That's mean. <laughs> Alrighty. I have a pretty good, uh... What the heck was that? Moose. How many rounds? We only got 41 rounds of shotgun ammo at the same time. I have to get more soon enough. So this is our uh, Eurasian Widgeon spot. There is already a bazillion flocks over there. Scared a bazillion geese away as well. I assume. It says they're alert. That's defensive. Okay. Yeah, we scared them. That one's calm. Let's get the uh, Eurasian Wigeon. Gray the Goose. Uh, let's just stick with that. Might be going sturgeon fishing soon. That sounds pretty cool, Keegan. I gotta go, but you have made my day reading my comments. Glad I got to see the doggos. <laughs> well, Car, take care, man. Glad to, uh, it, was, it was great to see you. Great to see you in the live stream. Hope to see you in the future. That'd be fun. Whoa. What in the world was that? Freaking raccoon dog. Like a shriek from hell. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I am not, so that's all right. Is the hunter done with updates? Like for all time or something, or what? Oh, we got a bunch of ducks now. Think there's a wigeons? Find out. Mallards. Oh boy. Okay. Oh god. He's finally landed. I'm gonna shoot this one as it's flying. God dang it. These freaking geese, man. They are the most temperamental things in the entire world. So, like, so, what, what possessed it to just all of a sudden just fly away? It sat there for what, 10 seconds? Ugh. So annoyed by the geese. <laughs> ah. The old greenhead. Hey, Bo, cool to see you. Bill Swartz, hey, good to see you. Cool to see you. I think, anyway. Canadians. Way up there. Do we have any Canadians? Nope, we just have Grailers. Alrighty. Boom. Mallards. Now there. Oh, yep, there's a bunch of widgeons. Okay. God, look at all the freaking birds, dude. And you know what's gonna happen? There's gonna be one flock of birds that finally come down to land. Three of them are gonna come down in the water. We're most likely gonna shoot them, and the rest of these are all gonna fly away. And it's gonna take them two minutes to come land, too. Who's my favorite hunter in real life? I don't know. Me? My dad? I don't... They're grown men who go shoot animals for a living. That's not really something to look up, like look look up to, I guess. <laughs> T 
Teddy Roosevelt. That's a that's now that's a man. Just started playing on my downtown on level eight. I, you know, I'm not really sure what level I am on Fishing Planet Mobile. Um, I know that I was at Emerald. The last place I was at was Emerald, and that's where I started to notice that my annoyance with uh, feeder rods disappearing when I closed out of the game, and uh, and that's kind of when I stopped playing Fishing Planet Mobile. <laughs> Figured until they fixed that whole feeder rod thing, there was no reason for me to continue playing that. I could just wait till I got home, I guess. All right, have we had enough of a detour here? Can we go back and hunt some more geese here? Have they showed back up yet? Just change a few colors to your ancient wish for America. I know, right? Are you going fishing next for river cats, Bill? Mmm. I would love to. I'm not really sure. Uh, I, w I would love to go a lot faster than I think I will be able to go. Um, yeah, I just don't... I think it'll be probably a month or two. Honestly. If not more. There are a few upgrades I need to make to the old, uh, to the old camera setup. I need to, to get at some point. Um, which might put a hold on that sort of stuff, but who knows? Can we shoot this dude? A little high up. <laughs> now we got him. Alright. He's- oh shoot. I was gonna say, he seemed low enough. Alright, this is gonna be our test- our test group. All right, we got some gray goose finally. Got some gray goose. He's one of the best bow hunters. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I was just uh, taking the uh, bow hunter's uh, education course the other day and uh, learning about the whole. Uh, see, I'm, I'm blanking now. Philadelphia. Archers of Philadelphia or something like that. I'm very confused by these trees here, I feel like. map out for us uh, June 28th when the map's gonna come out do you think there's gonna be a weapon pack or a gear pack release uh, afterwards I think so man I made a video about it huh huh So we watched a bunch of geese fly up above us the entire time. They never came and landed at this particular spot. This one is still just circling up above. Not sure. Uh, we live in Maryland, so a long way away from you. Hey, well, right on, man. Yeah, I would love to... Uh, I even, like, set up... Um, set up some cool stuff with a guy here. I called him out, and we talked about... Um, Talked about doing a few trips this whole summer and whatnot, and uh, and I just honestly haven't gotten to it. 
But, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And we're, we're going to be moving to Milwaukee in, uh, in January or February. So uh, I definitely need to get out and catch some big cats before, uh, before I do that. You ain't bagging fish. Godlike aim. How am I doing? I'm doing quite well. How are you? Bryce Daniels. Okay, thanks. Love how they don't just fly in one direction, kind of have a uh, kind of their own. I know, yeah. They're all individuals, aren't they? Like, where, where are these guys going? They're just, they're just flying away now. Ever since we set up here, we have not had a single goose come in. They just circle up above and eventually fly off, it seems. There's an entire flock of geese coming in the land. And I will be impressed if we get any of them to come and land based off of what we've seen so far. circling. These ones almost look like they're going to take a left and then come right towards us, maybe. Ah, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Hey, that's not too bad, huh? Did I only have three? What the heck? Was not checking. Was not checking my uh, ammo there. We still got three of them. We got four of them, I guess, technically. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me. You gonna do an inner life hunt with Flinter in the future? <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. I assume. I assume not. We live. We live in completely different areas. Way, way, way is the way. That's not like you. I know, right? Milwaukee. That's quite a ways away from Kansas. Yeah, it's quite a ways north. I'm definitely gonna be driving. I don't know if I could walk there. That's that that'd be a little bit of a little bit of a jaunt. Well that worked out alright, eh? They landed like right in front of us. Perfect for shots. I would have just shot the first ones that landed in front of us, but then we had so many more coming down, I just thought, ah, I'll just wait and see what they do. That was a good flock. You know? I am kind of curious, though. Move this further down. Probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, because then they're gonna land and then uh, scared off and stuff. Just stick to what we had. Oh well. Anywho, everyone, I tell you what, I know we're not just like leaving at the top of the hour or anything like that, but 
I think I better uh, head to bed finally. It's almost 12 o'clock at night for me, so uh, I'm glad that I got you all were here for all this. This was fun. We got to experiment some stuff. We almost set up all of our uh, all of our stuff. We almost set up all of our uh, waterfowl spots for all the different ducks. We're only missing Goldeneye at the moment, the old James Bond duck. Um, but we'll get him. We'll, we'll get him by golly. And we need to go up north for the bean goose. We're missing out on the bean goose, too. But we'll, we'll get that one as well. How many diamonds do you have in total? I have no idea. I, I don't keep track of that stuff. <laughs> Some people are really all about it, and I could not care less. Uh, we have we, we have two on this account. Um, so that's cool. We, uh, we re restarted for the beginner series. I didn't realize that it reset the diamond count, but I guess it did. Some more geese in front of us. Let's, uh, actually, before we leave, let's go check it out. Let's go to the lodge. I haven't been to a uh, lodge in a long time, and then we can actually see what those uh, multi mounts are, too. See you later, Bill. Promise you fishing plan on Monday. I did not promise that, Colton. I said Wednesday. So, uh, so you be lying, bro. Um, but yeah, we've got quite a few diamonds in here. Spread out and about. Elk, bighorn, whitetail, another. That was that's a gold actually. That's not a diamond either. A couple of golds around here. That's a nice gold too. Here's a diamond. Diamond. Do, 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 do. Got some legacy antlers too, which is pretty cool. Diamond peccary, diamond bobcat. I don't know. We got them spread out. Let's take a look at, um. Uh... What is that? Gold. Pretty one. Uh, let's take a look at the trophy mounts, the multi-mounts here. Foul play. Oh, foul play, but it's for a ptarmigan. That's interesting. So, ptarmigan and a raccoon dog, both uh, both males. That's that's cool. Uh, huddle whitetail, of course, would be something we could make there. Rival rabbits, antelope, jackrabbits. Let's see. Do, do, do. Making our way through all of these. There's Bear Necessity with two black bears. Foxy foes, look at. Uh, Bunny squad. Two turkey types. There's okay. Here is Foul Feud. Uh, with two black grouse going head to head at each other. A smooth operator. Three uh, Capricali. That's really the only ones I really noticed. The grouse and the uh, Capricali. I didn't see anything for uh, ducks or anything. Just kind of... Kind of missing out. I wish, though, that they'd have ducks hanging down from the ceilings. I, think, I feel like that'd be really cool. To have them uh, in flight or something. Like at Cabela's and all that. Bass Pro. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Bunch of your fishing planet. Thanks. Fishing with that right on, man. What is Monday's live going to be on? Um, it's going to be on YouTube about Reventuli Coast, I guess, because it still wouldn't be out by then. I think it comes out on Tuesday. So, probably do another one on Monday for Reventuli Coast and then, uh, and then go back to doing fishing planet on Wednesday, like usual. But anyway, everyone, this has been fun. Really appreciate you all being here, doing some Reventuli hunting, eh? And uh, we'll see you on Monday for our next live stream, playing more Hunter Call of the Wild. But uh, yeah, take care. If you haven't hit the like button, consider doing so. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next on Monday, 7.30, of course, p.m. Central. And uh, 
as always, everyone, remember. Of course, this isn't set up correctly, so give me a moment. I got it. I got it. Just, just the moment. Here we go. Is this it? Yep, that's it. There we go. Boom. And shut We're one planet, one family. Game on.